Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria then. Uh, where I am trying to fish up a, a magic conch. So I can teleport to the ocean. I certainly hope that's possible in this seed. Uh, so far, no luck. I've gone through a crate potion already. Uh, but I did find one thing that's quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's the new version or if it's only with this seed, but you can now get teleporters before hard mode. Just buy them from the mechanic. So we're going to be setting up some teleporters to places like the dungeon. Um, seaweed. Oh yeah, uh, maybe this isn't 300 tiles of water. Dilka, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess I should expand this fishing spot. Why don't we go fish somewhere else with the rest of the potion? How about here? Actually, there's some stuff I want from the jungle, I think. Let's hurry up. Uh, I actually did confirm just a little while ago that uh, if you have a quest to do uh, to fish the jungle surface, this does count. So I think all of these places are able to count as uh, both underground and surface for the purpose of fishing. Zura, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How you been? Let's get these glow sticks out of here. Doop, doop, doom. Gotta love the jungle music. Variegated lardfish. That's for summoning potions. Double cod is for ammo reservation. And I'm pretty sure those two are the only things that... Are the only reasons to fish at the jungle specifically. My inventory is full. There we go. Hey, Evil Pla. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, our fishing potion has already expired. Alright, one more. And it doesn't fit in our inventory. Okay, uh, let's go back. Uh, quick stack. And see what we get in these crates. Hunter potions. That's actually really, really good. Um, put the other stuff away. Another hunter potion. I'll take it. Uh, I think I'm already hoarding one, but we do need a step stool, um, because it turns into the ultimate, um, building thingamajig. I also moved the forest pylon, made a little bit, or made a start on making a nicer base here. Um, speaking of which, I moved the surface forest, here we go. That should count. Uh, this should count as surface forest, I think. Oh, we got some master bait. Sure, we'll use that. Why not? I actually, I actually quick stacked my other bait, so this is fine, I guess. Armored cave fish. We can fish that up here. That's really nice. That's very helpful. Master bait? Yeah. The the best bait. The master of baits. Golden bug net? Um, We've already got the lava proof net, but this one's slightly bigger and faster. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, I think we'll just put this away. Well, let's just sell it, actually. It's not even a material. It sells for five gold. Whoops. 
This counts as... Look at that. This counts as both caverns and forest. Very handy for the purpose of getting loot. Alright. Um, let's put away our fishies and stuff. I obviously haven't put that much time into moving this forward. Um, normally I would put the master bait in here, but it is looking rather full right now. I forgot that I had the molten pick, uh, molten ham axe actually. Let's just put it in the fishing chest. I also got a honey absorbent sponge. I think we are one item away from combining all of those. Whoops. Give me you, magma snail. And let's drop off our accessories over here. I still haven't moved all the stuff that's in this chest down here. Uh, let's see, Danger Sense Potion, should probably go in with the other occasionals, but I don't have room for it. Uh, I guess I'll put the Lava Absorbent Sponge together with the Honey Absorbent Sponge. And... This is actually the only armored cave fish we have right now. Uh, let's see, sell this. And open these, sell those. Sell the ginger beard. Uh, we don't really need copper bars. Variegated lardfish. Apparently, oh, here they are. Double cod. Oh. I thought I had iron in here. I think I spent it all on iron skin potions, actually. Let's grab our blooming plants. And replant the fire blossom. Oh, good timing. Extremely good timing. Grab that moon glow right after we grab the day bloom. And I think I needed a bit more day bloom to finish what I started at the new base as well. We need some planters. And fill those out this way. Daybloom can go on this layer. And I was going to put Moonglow in the jungle. Although. Uh, it might look a bit weird in the honey. I kind of want Moonglow down here just so that we can see as soon as we teleport in. Yeah, this seems like a good spot. Perfectly counted, calculated. What do we have? More copper? Sell that. Hold on. If that air, if that biome counts as caverns at the same time, doesn't that mean the demolitionist would be happy here? Let's see. Let's get him to teleport. Uh, I can't ask him about happiness? Why not? What? Why are we not able to ask the NPCs how happy they are?
Did they change it? Decor. Hold on. Shop. Decor. Shop. Paintbrush, paint roller, paint, cabin pylon, decor, wallpapers. Oh, okay. That's new. But apparently there isn't a way to check how happy they are anymore. Uh, we know they're pretty happy because they've got the, uh, the shining portrait here. But I wanted to talk to the demolitionist and see if he's saying that he's happy in the caverns. Oh well, it's fine. Let's put this stuff away. I've also been farming some amber and some diamonds. I found literally one diamond. It was actually right here the whole time. I think it was that tile there. Uh, and luckily we didn't low roll on the first uh, gem corn that we placed. So now we've got infinite diamonds, albeit they're still accelerating. Alright, so diamond gem cones, one, two, and three. Oh, I have another one here. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six diamond trees. We'll have that diamond grappling hook in no time. Uh, I will keep farming amber gem cones. We need the amber for fishing potions. Put that up in here. Uh, not technically fishing potions, but crate potions, rather. And the stool goes in there. Um, what happened to the wire I had? I think I spent it all, apparently. Alright, let's get some more. I could go and steal some from the world, but I'm too lazy for that right now. Uh, so we are making ourselves a wire link. Oh, wait, wait. Before I go, I should take the teleporter with me. That's the whole point. So we have a teleporter right here with a switch on it. Uh, we're going to put one in the dungeon. Maybe relatively deep in the dungeon, so we don't have to go through the front of it every time. Alright, let's beef ourselves up a bit before we head through here. Regen, Iron Skin medium food. Whoop, didn't even see that one. I was looking for the eaters. Don't know how far I've taken this so far. Ow. There's no knockback on those bees. Okay, we have gone further than this. Oh, I forgot to be scared of stars again. These things that I've been trained to pick up casually one hit kill me now. Alright, up we go. Instead of dodging that uh, eater, I should have. I should have put my mount on and bopped his head. Alright, let's cut that. 
Otherwise my OCD will yell at me. Oh boy. Okay. The bees actually kill those worms super fast. Okay, can I get like two seconds here? There we go. Fantastic. Let me out. Okay. I forgot I had the flame lash actually. Very nice. Oh, and I forgot how they changed the the way it auto fires, which is incredibly good for DPS. Not so good for not wasting a shot sometimes. But who cares? Not me, at least not very much. It'll be a lot better with the, uh, what is it called? The rainbow rod, which doesn't crash into the ground. I can't quite see the wire from here. Let's place a banner while we ha uh, while we have the chance. That deeps though. All right, there's our wire. I would- oh, I forgot- <laughs> I forgot again to be afraid of the stars. <laughs> that was so close, and I just didn't feel any fear. Or even the- the intellectual sense that I should avoid that thing. Okay. Uh, I can't quite see the wire from here. Can we get a bit deeper? No? No, we can't. We need to go up. me in. Oh, nasty. Alright, up we go. Oh, I'm out of wire as well. Damn, this is kind of expensive, actually. Also... I wouldn't have dug that pit for honey that deep if I had realized uh, that I would spawn inside it as opposed to on the surface. That's better. Okay. Uh, so we need more wire. Also need to stack my stuff away. Let's just sell this, get it out of my inventory. Vile mushroom becomes vile powder. Stack that. Um, I don't really need these wooden beams right now. Let's just put them in building materials. There we go. Alright, so half my money again on wire. Not quite half, but still quite a lot. And up we go. Doop, 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 doop. If we were gonna fight Deerclops, this would be the place. I think. 
Oh, a uh, tombstone. We need those. I guess I'll place the banner for the frozen zombies. Not that they're a threat. There we go. I forgot to be scared of the star until it was too late. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I think there's a little delay, probably. Um, when I switched to the mount, I said earlier that instead of dodging an enemy, I should have quickly switched to the mount to land on its head. Uh, but I think there's a little delay where that won't actually work. Yeah, it actually hurt me. Okay. Discovered today the snowball cannon is very strong at the start of the game. Yeah, it is a very good early get. If you can get it. It's probably about the strongest weapon you could reasonably get before Eye of Cthulhu. Is that the end? No. It's down here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Blue wire up this way. That magnet, though. Oh, that was a mana. That's why. I wish we could combine... The tr we can combine the treasure magnet with something. I forgot. I hope, we, I hope we're going to end up having the treasure magnet effect just on us at all times without sacrificing anything. Alright, up through here. And I don't really care anymore about keeping it visible as long as it gets to the dungeon. There we go. So I could just put the teleporter here. Maybe that would be sensible. Because that means we have access to the dungeon and we have uh, access to the surface over here. Alright, let's go back. I need a touch plate. Where are we keeping our gravestones? Probably with the statues. There they are. Uh, I think we need one more to be able to make a graveyard biome. There's just a couple of things from NPCs that are desirable to buy that way. Wait, why does it keep... Never mind. Uh, hardened sand... Why don't we just turn that into glass? Because we need two sand, that's why. Any two sand, I think, works. Alright. Uh, so, please sell me a... Grey pressure plate... Oh, and I wanted to check the recipes for the magnet. Oh, it's this thing. Well, we're not going to be carrying this thing all the time. That's a little bit unfortunate. Alright, onto the touch plate we go. Put another one here so that we can teleport back. Maybe that part's not really necessary, actually, since we can teleport any time to the other side and we don't necessarily want to accidentally teleport from here. Uh, I could put more of a manual switch. Let's see, give us a lever. And put it here. 
close the door. And connect like so. I think I have to be standing on it. Yeah, I do. That's nice. So it's just a touch plate to leave this way, but we're not going to accidentally teleport back. It's a popular speedrunner weapon. Uh, the teleporters? Yeah, has... Uh, since when can we get them before hard mode? West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty sure it was the steampunker that sold these. Uh, way back when. I kind of want to do another teleporter to go from here to the center of the dungeon. Somewhere. Uh, probably... This fishing spot here would actually be, I imagine, very manageable. Um, because the melee enemies are going to fall in here. We've got water walking. Uh, for hard mode, the sniper's not going to have line of sight to us if we're standing here. So I think we'll go for... Should I go a different colored wire? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to see blue wire anymore. Let's just do blue again. So we'll grab another telly. Another pair. I might not go to the trouble of doing this whole thing just yet. Maybe I should just use levers for the teleporters so we don't accidentally teleport all over the place. Um, and then blue wire down this way. Let's get some light and so on. I'll just use up the 258 wire I still have. And if we pick up some more on the way and it's enough to get the job done, so be it. Oh, I just re Oh no, never mind. Wait, couldn't you teleport into the temple with this? If you can place it on the other side of the door? I wouldn't be surprised if they've thought of that, but I wouldn't be shocked if they hadn't either. Then again, uh, the steampunker, you would have been able to sequence break into the temple with that before the new version, so it's probably been addressed a long time ago. Alright, we've run out of wire, but I will go figure out where I want to put this. I've seen a few of those uh, brown chests that are, like, friendly. Um, they require a dungeon key. Uh, but I didn't have any keys yet. But yeah, they, they'll just appear... I don't know if you have to be close to the dungeon or not. Oh, it's here already. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good spot, actually. And the enemies that drop down here won't even be off-screen. Uh, I haven't got a void bag yet. We still need bones. And there's a couple of things... Uh, I think I already got a couple of, uh, uh, anti-knockback shields, and probably a magic missile. All oh, right, my magic weapons that I have here don't work against water. Neither do my summons. 
water is my kryptonite right now. Unless, of course... Even the bullets are slower in water. First skull banner, I'll take it. Alright, let's get rid of the spikes. And let's not have all of these skulls. Hey, there's one of those chests I was talking about. So we could just camp in one place and enough of these chests are eventually going to come to us. If we really wanted to. Oh, and there's a key. This is the first time I get to open one of these. Hey, I am this guy. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. Oh, I have a feeling that's only going to happen once. Glug, glug, sure. Yeah, it's just a... It's just a slime pet. I don't think we're going to be getting a renewable source of these, uh... Gold gold chests from the dungeon with that which is what I hoped I was looking at when I first saw those just take some damage because it's easier that way alright yeah I have a feeling that's going to be the last we see of those brown, bouncy, friendly chests. I do hope to be wrong. Whoops. Angry Bones banner? Sure. Can put that one up here. As we passively farm fish as well. Drop a key. Nope. Oh, I think there's still a spike over there. Alright, that seems to be the last of the spikes. probably will put a teleporter here. I don't think the dungeon biome counts as its own thing for fishing, but it's kind of cheeky fishing in the dungeon. Alright, so teleporter here, I guess. Do I have any wire? I do not. It's actually not very far in. Maybe I shouldn't bother... Ow. Maybe I shouldn't bother putting a teleporter here. If it was its own fishing biome, I would definitely do that. What did I just bump into? Uh, but yeah, it'll be a really good spot to farm certain enemies, I think. Assuming that it's deep enough into the dun uh, jungle. To, uh, to find them. Oh, I already broke this. Thank you, imps. Get out of here, spikes. Loving this sword. Not normally that much into melee in Terraria, but they have made some improvements. Begone spikes. 
Can we get a key? No. No keys today. Take the switch. This spot would probably be pretty good for farming enemies, actually. Because they'll all make their way down here, but they'll get filtered and funneled. And not all have line of sight. Just like this. Might be even... Oops. Might be even better with beans. Alright, I have one golden key. Should I go back? Uh, we'll just farm them. And up we go. This is looking like a very cozy spot, actually. Bones have we got? 310. Fantastic. Uh, I believe we can make our ranged set. Even if all we're going to use it for is to duplicate sand. Angry Bones banner. Oh, I think we already have one here. Yeah, we do. Do we have another banner? Not right now. Dash input. Oh, another key. Hell yes. How many keys do we need for the whole dungeon? Probably like 20? How did you get here? Well, I guess by spawning, like everything else. E spray OP. I can't see. Oh my god. I see they haven't updated the ability to switch weapon easily. Let's see. Oh, well, it might be improved. I need a slower weapon to really test it. See that slime, I don't want to let it get away. But I have to go... Uh, I can't really get there. Let's just put down a sentry. God damn it. There we go. Honestly, just waiting for that slime to die so I can go pick up this stuff to the right. I think we've already got a couple of tally counters. 250th Angry Bones. Fantastic. Let's put a banner here. Slime is almost dead. Here comes another one. Fantastic. 
Let's go pick up all this loot. And head over to get our key. Oh my god. Uh, you know what I should be using to get rid of these spikes is explosives. Now that I think of it. Because the walls won't get affected. Uh, what are we dropping? Demon, uh, bone torch, get out of here. Give me a whole lot of sticky bombs. Fantastic. Much better. That's easier. That's a lot easier. Could you be persuaded to stop? Th thank you. Up we go. Missed, actually. Once more with explosives. Fantastic. I should really put this on the hotbar. What's this, a book? Uh, how about... Oh, it's on the floor now, isn't it? How do I have a dungeon door? Probably because of spamming explosives. There's a demon altar in here. Give me that key. Um, I might just pop a potion of recall. And let's stack away this stuff. A book still just good for making bookcases, or did I forget something? Yeah, I think they're only for making bookcases and pianos, I guess. Give us a quest. Oh. I think I forgot to hand in the last quest, or not? Caught in desert. Let's do that real quick. Um, but not before we put away this stuff. I still need to move these guys and everything stored over there. That's where we've got a tally counter. Oh, we've got another one here, actually. Uh, Necro... Helmet, you say. Let's just find a place for that. And sell this. Sell the bone wand. Get rid of the spikes. Uh, I don't really need angry bone banners. Alright, keys can go here for now. And I don't really know where to put the books. Let's just put them here for now. I think I'll put the teleporter... Where will I put the teleporter? Oh, there's still more dungeon? Damn. Not a whole lot of it, I imagine. Um. I think we've found the coziest spot in the dungeon, and it's right about here. Except it's just not that f well, it's kind of far down. I don't know if it's deep enough for paladins. Alright, fine. Let's just put our teleporter there. Oh, don't forget the fishing quest. Desert. We need more water here. 
Uh, I did drop down a bunch of water, but it wasn't quite enough space here. Alright, that should pretty easily... Ooh, give me the wire. And the... Okay. Wait, have I been there? Uh, I don't think I have, actually. So, I'm just gonna... The chest should be there. I'm just gonna leave that indicator... Wait, wait, I can spy it like this. Uh, I did clean that one out, actually. Okay, cool. Let's just remove the wire. Fantastic. Let's bring down some water again. Just a little bit at a time. Grab some bait. Fishing rod, and it should be well over 300 tiles pretty soon. So we'll stop getting uh, rusty cans and stuff. It did say... Oh, there it is. Caught in desert. Uh, we got an angler hat. Increases fishing power by five. Well, that's more than we had before. Um... Let's do slot three. Uh, loadout three will be our fishing loadout. So somewhere I have a... Oh, I have like no movement with this. Uh, somewhere or other, I have a... Molten fishing hook. Not that we need it. But it does combine into something better later on. We don't need it because magma snails are so common with this seed. Um, but I don't remember where I've stashed it. Hmm. Oh, would it be the old forest base? No, there's no chest here. Where could I have put it? Give me that wizard hat as well. Well, it's not in here. It's certainly not in here. Oh, there's some other chests I haven't noticed. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. These are all empty. Hmm. don't think I've got any chests over here. Or over here. Uh, I think I know where it is. It's not too far from this. Up we go. Whoops. Oh, 
hello, a fairy has something to say. It came from this way. So I wonder if... I wonder if the direction that it came from matters. A trap down here. Let's have a peek. There's nothing of value down this way. Just take the wire. That is of some value. Head back to where we found the fairy. Is this it? A bunch of silver? Probably not. It's not making the sound to indicate something is here, follow me. That was obviously a trap. Oh no, I just dug up here, I think. That's probably a... Oh, here we go. Yeah, and... a mining potion. I have mining potions. Fantastic. Let me in. Another heart. That's not too exciting. But I can't think what it could have led us to in this area that would have been exciting at this point. I still need a conch so we can teleport to the ocean. Um, what else? I need wings. I don't have any wings. Let's quick stack this stuff away. Apparently I don't have a place to quick stack life crystals. That surprises me a little. Good morning, Fax and Chat to Run 45. Fantastic. Morpheus, good morning to you as well. Thank you very, very much for the 10 months. Much appreciated. And good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Sand goes in here. Actually, I don't want two stacks of sand. Let's just turn this into glass. And then... I still don't have a die trader. Weirdly enough. We definitely have some uh, vacancies, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here's one. This housing is suitable. Okay. I thought the die trader just moves in at some point. You don't find the die trader somewhere... Maybe I have to have a something like this in my inventory, and I haven't had it in my inventory for long enough. All right, let's head back to the dungeon, and uh, until I come up with something better, I'm going to say this is the best place over to the right to put our teleporter. Ouch. As is light, as is light, as is light. Fantastic. Alright, I think we'll put the teleporter around about here. I can't actually dig that with this pickaxe. Cursed Skull Banner, sure thing. And let's start 
I should probably run it from top to bottom, otherwise it might not line up very well. Up we go. Where are we going? Up here. Stupid dash. Okay. We only have 181 wire, it's not going to be enough to get the job done. But that's no big deal. Let's get rid of this chest. Uh, I don't remember if that's our first cobalt shield. It probably is, considering I'm not wearing it right now. Then again, our accessories are kind of full. That's actually a limit there. Give me another key. Fantastic. Oh, the bees are... Oh, the bees get rid of the... Uh, the unstable blocks. About as reliably as anything else, but we can spam them easily. That's nice. that switch. And that one as well. And they bounce around as well. That helps. Let's open this chest. And we got another Murasama. Doesn't really compare to the uh, Knight's Edge anymore. I think I used to prefer Murasama over Knight's Edge. But this is obviously better. Um, I guess I'll leave that here for now. Oh, and here's our wire. Alright. Down. Not red. We need to, instead of cut, create blue wire. Oh. Teleport into the bees. Good job. Oops. The sword is still stronger, even if I'm not wearing melee armor. Uh, but one would expect that much. Can I get this done before I die? Nope. Let's regen... Give me that health. to those spikes. Oh. Uh, and we're still going down with the wire. We've only got 14 left. But uh, that's actually gonna not line up that well now that I look at it. It's fine. Definitely want the clock uh, close to our teleporter, if there isn't one already. And I wanted the bewitching table here as well. So we can keep rebuffing our 
minion, extra minion duration. Alright, um, do I want to waste another potion of return? Probably. Because then, if I buy like a thousand wire, we can stop having to make this trip. I'll just double check the usage of Murasama Night's Edge, which we've already got. Fantastic. Uh, Cobalt Shield still just makes Obsidian Shield. Do we have obsidian? We do. Let's make a obsidian skull. Uh, I think I already had to make one to get the Terra Spark boots now that I think of it. But I'll double check everything this goes into. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. So, obsidian shield. I don't think we go further than that before hard mode. Uh, we need the ank charm, so that's a no. Alright. Do I want to wear the obsidian shield at the moment? Immunity to knockback. We've already got immunity to fire blocks. So it's really just two defense and immunity to knockback. I don't think that covers it right now. Um, let's just put that here for the for the moment. Oh, I forgot to put away my crate potions earlier. Whoops. Okay. Let's get our wire before we forget. It's quick stack actually. How much wire do we have here? Just the one. So it quick stacks. Um yeah, let's just Oh. Wow, that accelerated quickly. Now we've got 1,500 wire. I think that'll be enough. Alright, we'll put our lever right about here. And head back up and to the left. Hopefully I can see the wire from here. I cannot. We're so close. Now, if I want the wire to be fairly straight, we'll need to go back up this way. Also, these spikes displease me. Alright. Ow! Friggin' spikes. Alright, down we go. I'll be very surprised if we can't see those from below. Oh, a water candle. Perfect. I want one and only one water candle, uh, candle uh, within range of this area, so we can activate it and deactivate it at will. And I'll put a peace candle here as well, so we can change the spawn rate whenever we want. Let's turn that one off for now. In fact, why don't I go back... Uh, actually, let's finish this first, otherwise I'll have to use another potion. Alright. 
over this way. Fantastic. Let's shut this door. Get all the ads out of the way. Bring our wire over here. Ow. And cut that extra bit. Alright, and then we'll change it so that blue wire isn't so obvious. That's actually still way too obvious. I wish we had better settings, like complete invi invisibility for certain colored wires. While the um, mechanical display was still forced, so we see, see the red wires that give away traps. Hmm, how about... Up through here... Now. Oh, I need to change this. There we go. That won't be quite as obtrusive. It, it is going to turn... It, it is going to open and close that door, but I don't care about that. So we should have two hops back to spawn. Fantastic. Uh, we'll need a switch or something over here. visible. I can just about live with that. Not really. It's all lies. Alright, so now we can come here whenever we want. One, and a two, and a three, and we're here. Fantastic. Let's go get ourselves that... Hey, the die trade is here. Let's go get that peace candle that I was just talking about. And I think I do want this one to be a switch as well. A uh, lever. Oops. Yeah, that works. Alright, back to spawn. Stack all the things. Our die trader is here. Uh, we need a die vat. And there's our first die. Oh, it actually changes the color of the trail. That's cool. We've got a mixture of colors for the trail now. Uh, can I just buy a dye color? There's silver and brown. Let's try silver. So we've got one of them default color. Uh, one of them... Can I stop the boots from being visible? One's default color, one's red, and one is silver. That looks kind of neat. I'm in favor. Okay. Don't want to see the shield of Cthulhu all the time. Alright. Uh, stacky stack. We don't need a third tally counter. 
Actually, what's the difference? 1.44 gold versus our happy girl. 1.44 gold. No, oh, the die trade is actually really happy. Fantastic. Alright, so switches, wires, we're never using spikes, sell the tally counter, sell the bone ones, pressure plates, teleporters. Uh, I was going to make a peace candle, for which we need... Oh, I don't think I do have what we need to make peace candles, because we need pink gel, if I recall correctly. Pink torch, which is pink gel plus torch. Yeah, I think, um, let's go get that palm wood. I think we need to find a pinky, and I haven't seen a single one on this map. Oop. I haven't seen a whole lot of mushrooms either. I'll definitely grab those when I see them. I'm loving this trail. Alright, let's grab this wire. Get what we came for. I'm loving the uh, acts of regrowth automatically planting. Why is this all lit up? Hey, Kari Gupta. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we've got more pumpkins than we ever know what to do with. Yeah, it's weird. This whole area is all... It's been sparkling. Okay. Give me those webs. Alright, let's clean out the dungeon. That is to say, open all of the chests that require golden keys. Sell all this stuff. Uh, I shouldn't have sold the dynamite, actually. I think we've got a few dynamite that we've saved up. Maybe not. I was watching a YouTube series on Factorio, but episode 14, 15, 16 is miss All three. I can't watch on Twitch either. Uh, do you possibly have them? No, I, I have occasionally missed an upload. I apologize. I can't fully automate it the way I want to, unfortunately. At least as far as I know. Yeah, I need bigger explosions to more easily clear out those spikes. 20 silver each, though? Uh, screw it. And we're gonna make sticky dynamite. And I think I'll just get rid of the sticky bombs that I've already made, to be honest. Alright, let's teleport back to the dungeon. And uh, I probably should have checked the map before I got here. But we're just looking for golden chests. That is a candelabra. And these are exactly what I brought the dynamite for. Uh, let me just put those in slot 6, actually. Oh, I can't toss them very quickly. There's still a few spikes here. Be gone. Uh, that is the hallowed chest. Let's mark it on the map. I definitely haven't been this way yet. That being the case. 
Spelunka potion. Give me the wire. And away we go. Doesn't have quite as much radius as I thought it did. Shadow key, magic missile, things we already have. Skeletons falling on our heads. Inventory is full. Angry Bones banner. Dark Caster banner. Alright. That's this corner finished. Oh, I should be looking up. <gasps> really? I just said. I just started. I said I, I should be looking out for water bolts. Uh, and literally the first book that I pointed at has a water bolt. Uh, it's not that good though, to be honest. Um, I should really be more careful. I'm very low. Alright, let's put back these torches. Where did they go? Are they not in my inventory? Whatever, it's a handful of torches. Oh no. Oh, I almost exploded myself. Okay. Alright. Okay. It's fine. This is fine. Don't really care about that. I guess I'll take the alchemy table. Uh, but not before I quick stack away some of this stuff. Fantastic. Inventory is way too full. Oh yeah, they really like to accumulate down there. Alright, well, we know we can come back to exactly this spot. That's a quick stack. Let's see, water bolt. I wonder if they changed it at all. Looks like it's exactly the same. 24, I believe it pierces a few targets. Oh, I forgot I had the trident. That's actually really, really good. Okay. Cursed skull banner. Um, let's quick stack up here. I'm just going to put bones in, uh, spikes in here so that I don't have to think about it. Is the goblin selling anything else? Nope. And I don't really need a second shadow key, but they are very rare. If I was to somehow accidentally sell this or something. I'd rather have a spare somewhere. Okay. What else was I going to do for creature comforts around here? Apart from the peace candle. I don't know. 
we're getting an awful lot of tally counters. Good shot. Fantastic. Only missed one. Is that a spike? It is not a spike. Alright, I should probably find a spot and take a peek at the map. Uh, see if I can find any more gold chests. There's one... There's two... Alright, we've got our work cut out for us getting to them. And of course our inventory is already almost full. I'll be taking that. Actually... I should have... switched that on first. Wait, what? Oh, did the wire drop? No, it's in my inventory. Okay. Why didn't that happen the first time? Uh, dynamite. It missed. If I jump, I'm, I can't jump slow, short, uh, I can't do a small enough jump to not hit that. It's kind of annoying. Oops, that's fine actually. Oh, is this? No, it's just a regular candle. I think it's just a regular candle. Yeah, it's his candle. Alright, Angry Bones banner, get out of my inventory. Glow sticks, get out of my inventory. Cursed Skull banner, get out of my inventory. Uh, dynamite, get in my stack. And... Wire, get in my inventory. What's over here? It's more dungeon. Spikes, get out of here. This actually goes nowhere. Like, literally, door to nowhere. Alright, there's our gold chest. What do we got? Another shield? I'll take the Spelunker potions. Oh, what's this? Does that actually go anywhere? I don't think it can. Yeah, I don't think it can go anywhere. Um, don't really care about this. Whoops, never mind. Mana potion, bone welder. I guess I'll take a spare of that. I hate completely wasting items, even if it's completely irrational. I think this is a total dead end with no more blue, ch uh, no more golden chests. Ouch. Candelabra, though. Let me up. 
Ouch. Stupid crumbly blocks. Oh, that's the end of them? Okay then. Uh, so this whole area is actually just an elaborate dead end. be using melee at this range. And through here. Have we got everything we can from these chests? Maybe I should just stop bothering with them. Handgun. Yeah, we did get one handgun. Let's see, we got the... We got the Cobalt Shield, we got the Handgun, we got the Magic Missile. I think that's everything, isn't it? Unless I want to prepare the entire dungeon for hard mode, which I don't feel like doing. Oh, there's unexplored dungeon this way. I kind of want to see that, though. Alright, let's waste a potion of return. Because I really don't want to have to do that whole journey again. Or not statue. Stack these away. Handgun. I think we've already got a... Phoenix Blaster. I could re-roll another one without paying for it, though. Except in the sense that we pay Hillstone Bars, but I would have to go mining again, so that's not really worth. Uh, what's next? I didn't upgrade the water bolt because we've got the holy unholy trident. Uh, we may as well make another obsidian shield. See if we roll higher without ping. Intrepid. That's not so good. Alright, put those in here. I don't think we need four tally counters. Goodie bags. Whoops. Uh, palm wood goes in building materials. And I think I've had enough of explosives for a minute. Where am I where am I keeping the chests? Here we go. Give one to the demolitionist. Keep our bombs in here. Caught in surface. Let's do that. Well that didn't take long. High test fishing line. Fantastic. Fishing line will never break. And I should probably get some old armor to wear with the rest of the fishing gear here. I think I've got silver armor. Yeah, there we go. I should get a spare... Shield of Cthulhu for movement, a double jump, I think I sold them all. Oh, they're in that chest that I can't be bothered to go get. Let's go empty it now. Ship in a bottle. That's obviously going to go here. Um, I just need to go over this way. Up 
we go. And what do we got here? Ruthless ice bow, some pressure plates. You should be in the jungle, sir. Blowgun is 31 range damage. I thought we had to I thought we had to wait for um hard mode for that. Uh that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so we want a double jump for our fishing accessories. A damsel, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Uh best T hack stream. Uh, thank you, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, there it is. Lava proof fishing hook. And... I should make another pair of boots. Let's grab these... Get some rocket boots. Oh, we already had a paint sprayer in here. Hasty blizzard in a... Uh, whatever. Actually, why not both of these? Oh, wait. We have a cloud in a balloon. That's even better. Did you find the shell? I mean it in the best way. I really enjoy watching you play this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I should bring what I can fit as well to the new place. At least one of everything. We've got way too many shoe spikes. Compass, anklet. Uh, I don't really need another cloud, but whatever. Okay. Up to the snow pylon, stack these away. I think I'll put all of the just utility stuff that we want to combine over here. More regular things over here. Oh, we already had sailfish boots this way. Let's get rocket boots, make spectra boots. So we can at least move around a bit when we equip our fishing gear. Uh, and probably a shield of Cthulhu because I'm just not used to not having a dash. So I think I've got some suspicious looking eyes lying around somewhere. I could be wrong. I could all... I could always make one, I guess. We should have plenty of lenses by now. We have 95 lenses. Do you think that's enough? Oh, and I could make the void bag. Let's do that. That's one more thing that I need a demon altar for. Where's our bone? 2,600... And 78 bones. Seems good. Alright, where's the guide? We need 30 bones, I think. 15 bones. Uh, no, we do need 30. 15 jungle spores and 30 tissue samples are equivalent. Let's go. Shadow scales. Jungle spores. Fantastic. Uh, where did we have a demon altar close to a town? I think the jungle? Oh, I know. Snow and then... Oh, even better. You can just do it this way. No, I thought there was a demon altar here. Never mind. Let's get out of here. Uh, up this way, I believe, is a demon altar. 
quite close by. There it is. Alright, so we want a suspicious looking eye and a void bag. Fantastic. Oh, that's so... Having... What is this? 4 by... 10? 40 more slots? For walking around? That is really, really helpful, to say the least. Uh, that can go in there. Utility things over here. Don't really need a second paint sprayer, but it's not like I'm going to sell it. All right, I have Cthulhu. Fantastic. The bee's got a lot of damage on it when it transforms. Oh. Oh. And you're done. There we go. So we're going to put the shield of Cthulhu down here somewhere. Cool. So we have our loadout three for fishing. Void bag. So nice, right? Uh, let's put our weapon collection things in here. Oh, I was going to kill the queen bee a few more times while we're at it. I want to put a trophy here where the, um, whatchamacallit was. Do we really have room to fight her here? Probably. I, th I think we're probably overpowered enough. Shouldn't even need any buff potions. I could be wrong about that. Uh, the Dryad is not... Hurting. No. The spacing is, though. <laughs> oh, we might lose NPCs. I was trying to hit her with the shield of Cthulhu, but it took more damage than was worth. Ow. Should really use something a bit more powerful. But it doesn't always hit, so whatever. Alright, let's use buff potions. Should have done that to begin with. I think we're gonna lose an NPC. Oh no. Okay, okay, that's fast. Can I, can I heal? No? There we go. This is probably it. Damn, she's fast now. Oh, 
Oh crap. We lost both the NPCs, I didn't even notice. Would you die please? Oh my god, die already. How are you not dead? Hurry up and die! You're still alive! No, bad. Oh my god. Oh my god! What was that? That was actually difficult. How dare you. Ah, oh. Not even close. It was very close. Several times. And now I lost two of my NPCs. Uh, I probably shouldn't have been using the B gun. Like, it's good for parts of that fight, but not 100% of it. The Flame Lash, that would have been the way to go, I think. Alright, let's head down to a better arena. I'll try that again. Alright. Down we go. Ouch. Wait, what? That's the wrong torch. Where are these torches? Oh, there they are. I ran out of food, actually. Oh, I should really remember to get that diamond hook as well. Alright. Uh, I don't have any food. Uh, it's a bit sketchy. Let's do it anyway. Oh yeah, that DPS seems a bit better. Uh, sometimes the bees are slipping by, but that's worth it, I think. Oops. Oh, come on. I wish the projectiles were a little easier to spot. She's actually almost dead. She hasn't even done a charge yet. There she goes. Oh. That was a lot easier, even without food. Alright, let's hit max health and do it again. I'll leave that candy apple there, actually. jump there. These. Flame Lash is so strong now. Alright, give me that health. Fantastic. 
Uh, two more. Let's go. I think I'll switch to Flame Lash for the end of the Wall of Flesh fight. I'll, I'll use the bees to stay far away for the most part, but once it's not possible to stay far, uh, Flame Lash is going to be a lot better. I like how sometimes the slime mount accidentally turns a hit into a counterattack like that. That was not intentional. Whoops. Oh, 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 lower than I thought I was. Uh, probably because my buff potions ran out. Yeah, spam bees at me. Oh, that didn't last long. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, whatever we need from the Queen Bee, if we didn't already have it... Have it now. I completely forgot about this chest. Let's take everything from there we can. Alright, quick stack. Quick stack. So. Uh, we'll keep the honey. We got Bee's Knees, Angry Hive Pack, Cosmetics, lots of bee wax. Oh yeah, the, uh, one of the summoner sets. It's not really worth doing. Uh, is there not something on the ground? Oh right, I forgot, I have the Void Bag now. Finally. Uh, Beekeeper. Doesn't look like this is any different. Alright, so what do we have here? Menacing? That's actually perfect. If we're going to bother with the hive pack. On second thought... It doesn't even change... I don't know, I don't think decimals count. So it seems like... It seems like if we're using the B gun which is the only reason why we would have the Hive Pack, uh, it should probably be defensive. Okay then. Uh, where's our stash of weapons that we're collecting? Here we go. And B nades. We've actually got a hundred and three now. 
I think we can make quite a lot with this uh, beeswax. 148. We could make... Oh, I forgot about this. Hive 5. It's a yo-yo that summons bees. That's amusing. Uh, let's see. I don't think we've made a hornet star, a hornet staff yet. But the imp staff is better, except for when there's liquid. So yeah, we could make. It's actually one to one. We could only make a hundred and whatever bee nades with this. That's disappointing. I've never actually tried the beanade meme. Uh, it does ranged damage though, so I would have to switch to that. Why don't we do a ranged set here? Uh, let's see, we need cobwebs and bone. I think that's just about it. Yep, literally just cobwebs and bone. Uh, as far as I know, this is still the best ranged set that you can get before hard mode. It doesn't actually have... It doesn't actually save any ammo. So we can't go infinite sand yet. I think there's a set, a really, really bad uh, early game set. Uh, from desert stuff. Sturdy fossil, maybe? Like, not worth the effort. Here it is. We'd need 15... plus 45... 60 sturdy fossils. Um, which is a not insignificant amount of exploring the underground desert and it's literally the weakest ranged set in the game uh, let's see let's put this stuff away and sell the coffee bottled honey oh what is bottled honey going to I think it's only a beamination yeah 80 life, but it gives you regen. Is that actually better? Well, it depends on how long the regen lasts for. Let's get hurt. Get rid of our buffs. Uh, I could just drown, I guess. A little bit. Uh, I guess it's going to tell us how long the buff lasts, though. But... It, it'll just be the honey buff, right? 15 seconds? Does it amount to more than 20 life, is what I'm wondering. It, and it's kind of hard to measure, because there's natural regen to confound it. So we still have the same potion sickness. And it is indeed 15 seconds of honey. Whereas we can get 30 seconds anytime we want with the honey bucket. Assuming that we have a moment to do that. Even so, um... I'm pretty sure that's going to add up to more than 100 life. That's probably better. Yeah, let's use bottled honey for now. Put away the uh, healing potions, I guess. Stack away all the things. Nature's gift goes into 
mana flower and nothing else. Uh, we already made the magnet flower. I don't think we have access to the other upgrades. Um, where do we upgrade this? Tinkerer's Workshop. Uh, Star Cloak I'm pretty sure is only hard mode. We've already got this one, which is really good. Putrid Scent is only hard mode. Alright, cool. Let's try and get the conch. And I guess while we're at it, we could not try very hard to get that ranged set, so we can see what that looks like. Dryad has arrived. Fantastic. Actually... Oh. Um... I kind of want to put the Witch Doctor next to her. Uh, I'm going to make it four living quarters there anyway, so I guess we can wait until... Whoever was living there, the um, the furry one, uh, moves in so we can teleport there. Alright, I'm gonna put this away, sell this. Let's just have a peek into the desert for the moment. Up we go. So I'm looking for two things. Uh, let's do a mining potion as well. I'm looking for a conch. Uh, I'm sort of looking for a chisel. And I'm sort of looking for fossils. Oh, there's a chest. That didn't take long. sand while we're at it. And... conch? No conch. Feels bad. Oh, that's, uh, I forgot, they're disguised as owls. That is not an owl. Big open area. Uh, we got a couple of functional statues. I think we already had these statues. Another chest. I don't know if it's always in a house, the, uh, the conch. That is not a conch. Feels bad. some kind of extra elaborate trap up here. Oh, another house. But that's not the desert. The zoologist is back. Oh, they improved it! I can loot all and have everything else go into the void bag. This feels so much better. Oh my god. And I forgot to empty this stuff before. That is... that is a massive improvement. Quality of life go burr. Anyway, let's get back to the desert before we get too distracted. Um, what kind of statue is that? Eyeball. Up we go. Looking. Let's just cover as much ground as we can. 
with the Spelunker potions. Conch, no conch, feels bad. We're actually covering a huge amount of ground really quickly. Big open... The, the underground desert is normally not like this. Big open areas. That is not a conch. Did you really just show me the gold chest that I was opening in that moment? That is less than helpful, I have to say. Alright, conch. No conch, feels bad. Uh, it could be this one. Whoa. Okay, that's new. Seizure warning. Desert fossil. We need like, what was it, 60? That shouldn't be too hard. Conch. No conch, feels bad. We got the thunder zapper, but that's way out of date now. Uh, I'm feeling lazy enough to use a potion of return. Let's quick stack. Let's empty the void bag. Let's quick stack. That's going to go back in the void bag, isn't it? Uh, I don't normally bring chandeliers back with me. Oh, it wasn't Desert Fossil, it was, um, Sturdy Fossil that we need. We can't turn Desert Fossil into Sturdy Fossil, I don't think. No, it's useless. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot. Uh, it goes into the... Extractinator. Sky Lakes and Surface. Does this count as surface? I don't think so. Alright, B sword. Go in here. Uh, honeyed goggles are not that great. Very limited flight time. Although, come to think of it, but where we are now, honeyed goggles are actually kind of nice. Alright, let's quick stack these. And hardened sand block. Just turn that into glass. I think I'll just sell the chandeliers. Warding cloud in a bottle? Nah. Bee pants. Statues. Nectar summons a baby hornet. That's just going to be distracting. Dripler statue. Uh, don't really need a blue slime banner. I can't remember where I put the ex extractinator though. And we've got a couple. Oh, there, there, there they are. There's five of them. In with the statues for some reason. All right, we only need one of these. And Desert Fossil does indeed go in the Extractinator. It does have a chance of giving a sturdy fossil. And it's stacked away. We've got six. That's one-tenth what it would take for that rather suboptimal armor set. Let's open this up, sell all of these, we've already got a mythical bee gun, uh, I'll hold on to the regions, we've already got menacing, oh, yeah I swapped it for guarding, 
Uh, I'm not interested unless it's warding or menacing or maybe, maybe lucky. Pretty sure that's our millionth set of shoe spikes. We need the opposite. Uh, the gloves. Region can go in here. Um, that can go in there. Be gun and get sold. Void bag. Sell the mace. Okay. Back to the desert. Oh, I need some food. I think I've got a bunch of lobsters. Yeah. Lobster, let's go. Lobster tail. Fantastic. Um... We're always going to pick this stuff up, but... Well, we're not always, always going to pick it up. Let me just stack it in here at this point. And we'll hold onto the wood. That gives us a bit more space. Yeah, that's better. Alright, Spelunker Potion. Let's go. Uh, did I check out that room? There's, there's nothing there. Oh yeah, we have been there. We're actually finding these chests really quickly though. So unless we're incredibly unlucky, which we are so far, uh, we'll have a conch soon. Ow. Let's eat the food. Give me the sandstone chest. As is light, regen, iron skin. Up we go. Oh, we got the best statue. Five defense. Seems to be the edge of the underground desert. Still no conch. Mining potion. Let's go. That's better. Oh, I wonder if I can use this. I cannot. To get rid of the... Ooh, that was close. Get rid of the cactus balls. We're not making good time now, because there isn't a giant open area. open spaces. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh. 
Those little spikes that come out still do a ton of damage. I was going to pretty much ignore them. Hello. Another Bast statue. And more importantly, another chest. Would you stop landing on my head? There we go. What do we get? A third Bast statue. <laughs> Bast statues are great and all, but what I really want is just one conch. First conch, not third best statue. Uh, best statue. Diggy diggy hole. Up we go. I keep forgetting to check how many diamonds I've got. We might be able to have a diamond hook soon. Another thunder, uh, thunder zapper? Really? Uh, we're running out of desert. out of Spelunker Potion as well. I'm trying to get the cactus, that's all. There we go. Alright, Spelunker Potion, do your thing. chest. Not what I was expecting, but there's another desert chest, more importantly. We get water walking boots in the middle of the underground desert? I might have to pay more attention to the underground desert in the future. Still not something we don't already have that we're not uh, that we're looking for right now. Conch? No conch. Feels bad. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Uh, we should keep going up to see exactly where the edge of the biome is. Ow. That'd be a really sneaky way to die. Sapruling, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Whoops, whoops. Oh, that was lucky. Another chest. Another best statue. Okay, conch. No conch. Is there just no conch on this seed? Is that how it is? Oh, there's another... We've actually opened, like, what, a dozen, at least, desert chests? Dune Rider boots. Mm, game's trolling me at this point. That's the edge of the biome. Uh, I don't believe the desert goes up there. No. Okay, one more, at least. Two more. I see two chests. Ouch. I thought I had melee. Well, we got the chisel. 
It's about time we got the chisel. And the conch is in this chest. Yep. Up. Oh. 184 damage. If I'd known it would still do 184 damage, I would have been more careful. That is going to be a journey to get back up there. I think the best way to start would be the forest pylon. Oh, it's the blood moon now. Good. Uh, where's my imp stuff? Let's just casually put down our four best statues. Anyway. Oh, wait, 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 what was that? Mimic? I'll have a Mimic. What did we get? A Mace? Okay, never mind. Quick stack all the things. Bombs can go in here. Sell this stuff. Uh, chests. Wait, was it not Blood Moon? Oh, the Blood Moon just ended. Alright, chests go in here. And statues. Quick stack. Sand becomes glass. Uh, sand becomes glass. Dynamite goes here. If, uh, if our friend will get out of the way. I should really put the keys in... safe or something. I don't even have a safe. Let's fix that. And one more safe, that'll go in the money trough. Something as rarely accessed as this can go in the safe. Uh, all of this stuff as well. Money can go in the safe. a little bit better. Uh, we've actually got five bloody tears. Put that in the safe as well until I think of something better. Let's sell the arrows. And let's try finding that chest and the 27 gold or whatever it is that we dropped. Oh wait, grappling hook. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Actually, I don't think I have any diamonds stashed away, it's only diamond gem coins. Which we have seven. So we now have six diamonds. Uh, if I turn them all into gem coins, we'll get there sooner, I think. Can we even fit 13 of these trees, though? Yeah, I think we can. Alright, cool. See how many diamonds we get next time. Yoink. Alright, back to trying to get our stuff back. And 
away we go. Do 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 do. That is a gold chest. Looks like I've emptied it of anything good though. I can't believe we still don't have a minecart. Like, a better than default one, that is. Doesn't make that difference if we make an iron one, though. Traveling merchant has arrived. What beautiful timing. Uh, where are we going? How about up through here? Had to go this way anyway. Oh my god. Let me through. I said let me through. Unpleasant mandible blade. What's that? Ice cream? Banana split. Sure. Um, I guess I should activate a Spelunker base. Oh! In case we go past something on the way. But there's no chest in here, so... What's the point? I think I've... I think I've been in here, actually. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, I haven't gone this way yet. But maybe I shouldn't get distracted. If I see a chest, we'll go for it, but that's about it. We go. Oh, there's a... I think we've been in there. Yeah. I remember this spot. What even is that? Prehistory preserved. Thought I saw a chest. I did not. Uh, here is a chest we... Nope, that's the one we were headed for. Or one of the two. Alright, we actually got here already. Why is there a... Oh, right. That's actually normal. Time for a ghost to show up. Snake Charmer's Flute. That would have been good a bit earlier. It's not bad now helps us look for sky islands and stuff. There's another chest. Let's get a mining Rushon. Ouch. This, a thousand percent, has to be our conch. I actually kind of don't believe my eyes. It is, in fact, a conch. Alright, let's go. I forgot to take the chest with me. It's fine. Uh, we don't really want to carry around the encumbering stone. Right-click to unlock. Oh... That's a lot better. I don't think it had this, uh... <laughs> it changes its name. Encumbering Stone to Unencumbering Stone. Well, I could theoretically see someone using this now. Uh, but not me. 
And we have the menacing ancient chisel. Uh, let's see. Well, let me stack some of this stuff first. Nothing stacks. Okay, then. Um, let's sell this. Give me that free gold. I think I'll just sell... Surely there isn't a universe where I regret selling this, right? Right? And the Dune Rider's boots, I'll just double check. Are just another kind of boot that we can upgrade. Yes. Alright, sell that. I actually kind of like the look of these plants. Uh, Storm Spear. It's cool that it goes through walls, but other than that, not very exciting. Chest Statue is actually really good for, like, DPS testing against armored things. Caught in caverns, demonic hellfish. Let's go. Uh, but first... I want to put away... Uh, a statue. Water walking boots can go up here. And let's try the conch. Beautiful. Uh, Damsel, if you're still listening, this is... Right there, you can see the, the color changes. The when, when I cross over into a pure biome. Because we're far enough away from... Uh, we're far enough away from the corrupted sand. That this is just default biome. So if I build a house here, um, it's just going to count as ocean biome. And I think we should probably do that, actually. Well, on second thought... We can teleport here whenever we want already. So it really doesn't matter as much now. Ow. Alright. Uh, back we go. Yeah, plastic. I need to see if I can find that. Yeah. Probably, if you don't have as deep an ocean, uh, maybe just build up in the sky a bit. And hopefully that'll do it. I wonder if fighting Duke Fishron, he would immediately be um, enraged because I'm not in the ocean biome. I hope not. <laughs> We're going to find out. Uh, teleportation potion? Straight into the middle of the jungle. I can't remember if I found... Oh, that's right. The temple is on the surface. No, I wasted my honey. Oh, we got it back. And we duped some honey. Yeah, we don't need to look for the, uh... The temple. It's on the surface. Oh, what was that? That looks weird. Okay, that is a huge open area. That might even be enough to fight Plantera. I mean... Plantera is inclined to take up a lot... Oh, crap. Um, accidental Queen V fight? Let's go. definitely different in this kind of space. I would say overall a lot easier. 
Oh. But not necessarily. Oh. Too many... There's too many ads. Like random bees and stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped there. I had to do a preemptive jump in case she charged again. My health is actually really low. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Oof. I was literally not prepared. of regrowth uh but yeah this is actually maybe almost as good as it gets for a natural plantera arena now we've got space we've got cover we've got i wouldn't say the possibility of a circular rotation she'd probably cut us off here could cycle between two spaces like this, maybe. Oh? As well grab some obsidian while we're here. Yeah, this room isn't really gonna help. What was that down there? Basically nothing. Alright, enough distraction. Let's try one more teleportation potion after we quick stack. And that is actually really close to where we've been already. Found a chest though. Not a very good one. Okay, I take it back. A hunter potion is pretty good. Come to think of it, now that we've got the. Now that we've got the conch, can we get sharks to spawn? At a place other than a few random ones at the uh, jungle. Keep the bee nades. Invisibility potions should go in here next to the calming potion. I think I'll just sell this painting thing. Quick stack what we can. Uh, snake charmer can go in there. Probably should, should go in the safe, actually. Oh, I didn't do the fishing yet. Let's do that. I think we've still got time.
much further is it? Oh, there it is. Alright. I'm gonna turn off my imps because I don't want them killing a random voodoo demon. And starting the wall of flesh fight. Let's put on our fishing gear and hope we don't get murdered. 59 fishing power. Obsidian fish. Baron Koi. I do need those, uh, at least the obsidian fish, for potions of return. Uh-oh. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I forgot. I don't have... I don't have the good boots with that loadout. Alright, I gotta be careful. If I'm gonna be greedy lava fishing. What time is it, I wonder? It was like 10pm when we headed out this way, so we should have time. Demon conch? Uh, it's a material. And the magic conch is a material. Tell me more. Normally the demon conch teleports you to, like, the middle of the underworld, but since that's where spawn is, I wonder if it's different on this seed. This is actually proving to be rather difficult to get the quest fish. Come on. Obsidian crate. Okay, that's not bad. Obsidian crate again. Okay. And then quest fish. Bottomless lava bucket. That's not bad either. We have the power to create or destroy lava wherever we see fit now. Baron Koi... My fishing power went down. Must be the phase of the moon or something. Alright, I, I think we might have missed our window. No? We had another minute and a half. Oh well. Uh, let's see what these conchers can do. Combine it with the magic conch and the cell phone? Right click to toggle destination. If you listen closely, you can hear something about your car's warranty. Shell phone. Amazing. 10 out of 10. I'm curious as to where the demon conch sends it. Okay. It still sends us to the same place. Slight variations on the same place, actually. 
Well, that's completely useless on this seed. Um, except for the fact that it combines with the other two. Let's put that in the safe, I think. And we need our shadow key to open these. Don't think we got anything useful. A couple more obsidian lock boxes in here. Uh, open, open. Hellwing bow and treasure magnet. I don't think we need another treasure magnet, but it doesn't hurt. All right, let's put these away. And despite the fact that there's a few more things I could probably do to be more prepared, uh, I kind of feel like triggering hard mode quite soon. Definitely could have built nicer buildings and stuff. Oh, uh, let's grab our bottomless sponges, or infinitely absorbent sponges. Put those in the safe. And have a lava serpent bowl. Don't really care for these hanging pots too much. Keys can go in here. Uh, we can sell the rest of that, I think. Sand can be turned into glass. Frog statue can go in here. Wires can go in here. And... I guess we could try one last time to get wings. But we can literally just buy wings as soon as hard mode starts. So, I think we'll just skip it. You never used to be able to get wings before hard mode. This is kind of like going back. Uh, let's get a couple of minions here. Before I summon bees. build. Couple of doors. Couple of tables. Couple of chairs. jungle torches, and back walls. Whoops. be able to move Voodoo Doctor Man in here. What did I just... Oh no. There we go. Let's get our diamond hook before we trigger hard mode as well. Let me up. Alright. Uh, zoologist... Witch Doctor... Who else likes the jungle?
No one that I can remember. At least, no one we've already got. Turn that back into wood. Fantastic. And... We should be able to buy wings at night as soon as hard mode starts. We still don't have a depth meter and that's terrible, but what are you going to do? Explore the map for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, I could get like a... I think a skeleton can drop it. Or a maybe... Oh, it's got all question marks. Tippy XPS, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can press F1 to F3 to switch loadouts. Oh, thank you. Take care, Zura. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I should definitely put the Platinum Watch here for when I'm fishing. It's still not showing me the exact time though oh right it would have to be like like there hmm. kind of sick of not knowing the time uh all right so so what are we doing wall of flesh are we gonna try the beanade meme I think I'd rather stick to magic damage, though. Wait. All those times I killed the Queen Bee, I still didn't get the Hive thing? To upgrade the uh, Sharktooth Necklace? We killed her six times today. Okay, I guess we're just going to skip it. I guess we will just have to skip it. I should probably set up a teleporter. No, I think I'll I think I'll start the wall of flesh around about here instead of on the other side of the uh demon town. A teleporter would still be convenient though. So we can farm it. We want to kill the Wall of Flesh like three or four times in a row. So that we get the items that we're looking for. Make the start of hard mode just a little bit easier. Let's put the teleporter here. And... I guess yellow this time. There's the answer. Why three to four times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As is often the case with a boss uh, that has some good loot. We're going to want... Um, I think I'll stick with blue, actually. Uh, oh, I can barely see the blue. I forgot. There we go. I actually like that I can barely see the blue if I make that the setting. Yeah, uh, Wall of Flesh has a few items that we need. And we're not likely to get all of them on the first try. Well, we literally can't get all the good stuff on the first try. But if we want, say, Mage... There's the plus 15% magic damage, and there's the laser rifle. And we're not likely to get both.
I could just click and drag this all the way across, but it would bother me knowing that it's not on the same elevation somewhere. So basically just going to keep going until we find... That's going to be tricky to... No, it's actually really easy to jump through. How much wire do I still have? Zero? Okay. Literally just ran out. Um, I could put the teleporter here, but I won't do that, actually. We need a few more hundred to put it where I want to put it. That should do it. I don't really need switches on both ends, but... I guess it doesn't hurt. Yeah. This is not a short run, and this is definitely worth the effort. Almost there. Not a voodoo demon. Oh. Oh, that's why there's um, glowing mushrooms all over the ground in some places. Okay. Where are we going to put this banner? Somewhere cheeky. I can't get up there, actually. Ow. Ouchie. Oh, I am hurting still. Alright. Try not to die out of carelessness. Uh, ow, 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 I didn't see that. That could actually be... That could have been an accidental summon. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Alright, let's quick stack. I've only got 187. I can't see where the wire is on the map. Away we go.
Okay. How close are we? I think, uh... I think I'll just put the teleporter at the end of where the wire can reach. This time, if it's not where we wanted it. Thirty-two left. Oh, we just got... we just barely got here. Alright, cool. That's actually... the limit. Uh, how about... I grab a couple of ash blocks? And put... The, why is there a zombie here? Jungle. Oh. Alright, ash block like that. Teleporter. Uh actually put this a bit further. Teleporter like that. And there we go. Right, so now we need to make sure we've got all of our buff potions in order. We've got not that many regen potions. Everything else, or the basics for everything else, looks pretty good. Let's get the regens before we forget. Uh, and let's check our occasional potion stash. Thorns, actually really good because of the little enemies. Well, they don't tend to reach us, but it's still better to be safer. Uh, Featherfall? Potentially. Not really needed. We don't need a calming potion. Normal enemies don't spawn while we fight it. Invis won't do anything. Water walking we've already got built into our boots. Uh, Titan potion doesn't really accomplish much. Endurance potions we absolutely need. Uh, Wrath potions. Maybe I should farm some more Ebon Koi. Nah. We, uh, once we beat the Wall of Flesh the first time, if we get Laser Rifle or something, uh, Clockwork Assault Rifle, it's going to be a lot easier the next time. Mana Regen and Magic Power Potions. Uh, Obsidian Skin, not really. Heart Reach, absolutely. The, the little fleshies drop hearts. Uh, we need some powerful food. Let's get... Uh, which fish should we use? Do I actually not have anything really to use for stat boosts? Uh, I could use the frost minnows. For a single seafood dinner. And put that here so it gets consumed first. I could... You know what? For the effort that I'd have to put in, maybe it would be better to try farming burgers from the, uh, the eaters. It's fine. Oh, 14 minute duration. Wow, it used to be 4 minutes. Medium improvements to stats. Bruh, since when? That's terrible. How do we get... Do we not have a farmable way that isn't, like, really low drop rate to get major improvements to stats now? It it says it's a material... No, it doesn't. It says consumable. Uh... 
That is very disappointing. I guess bacon. As far as I can think of, bacon is the only way to consistently get major improvements to stats. Unless they nerfed that as well. They get consumed left to right, top to bottom. Yes, they do. That's why I put this one here. Um, there's only... I should probably over-prepare rather than under. Wait, why is this here? Um, there's only one place I can think of to get food that gives us major improvements to stats. And that's farming eaters. I just need one of them to drop a burger. At least it only takes three minutes to kill 500 of them? Yeah. That's only true for this seed. I could bring a water candle. Are we a bad enough dude? to bring a water candle to this place now? I think we are. Alright, I have water candles stacked somewhere, I think. Um, but I don't remember where. I could find out by trying to quick stack this. I didn't see where it went. <laughs> Which chest did it go into? It's one of these four. Oh no. Water candle. Where did you go? I need that Factorio mod that finds things. Factory search. Did anyone see where the water candle went? Water candle. Oh, I did have them in the uh, uh, in the piggy bank. So it must have quick stacked from here up to here. Sneaky. Alright, uh, where was I putting the water candle? Oh yeah, we're looking for burgers. So right about here. Where we can easily turn it off if things get a bit hectic. Oh. I just want one burger, that's all I'm looking for. Star. I remembered to be scared of it. Fantastic. I heard another one way to the right. At least our food buff is going to last more than four minutes. Demon Eye Banner? Sure. I'm pretty sure monster lasagna is medium improvements to stats. I don't think we make it at a... Uh, 
Um, got a cooking pot though. Is it a workbench? No. Maybe it is a cooking pot. Or a campfire or something. Zombie banner. Oh, where, oh, where can my burger be? a star but I'm protected so I know I don't need to move the uh, worry about it this time it couldn't be in the void bag already could it nope deposit all Come to think of it, I think I've only picked up like three burgers, despite the something like a thousand eaters that I've killed. Uh, we might have to give up on major improvements to stats before hard mode. Get it within like a minute. We're out of here. not it, is it? Surely not. Nope. At least it's easy to farm rotten chunks. Back we go. Sell the goodie bag. Wait. I can't sell to a slime. grab our void bag contents, sell what makes sense. Uh, this goes in here actually. going to be lazy and sell that. And I forgot to sell these two goodie bags. Quick stack. Silt blocks go here. And 
I'll just double check, but I think there's only one thing the staff of regrowth upgrades into. Yeah, we've already got that. Alright, cool. Might just stash this somewhere. Oh, emerald. I don't think we have any of those. No, we do. Speaking of which, let's check out diamond trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Do we actually have enough diamonds for a hook, though? We have exactly enough diamonds for a hook without even... Well, without nothing, we can't convert diamond gem corns uh, into diamonds, at least not quickly. Fantastic. Let's get ourselves a workbench. And diamond hook. Let's see the difference. The current hook just about reach... Uh, I should aim for this spot. Alright, so from here... It's just hitting the end of the rope. Diamond hook. It's actually only one tile better than the ruby. Huh. I guess I underestimated the ruby hook. But I am happy we have that one extra tile, regardless. Alright. We have... Huh? Where, where did we end up putting our rotten chunks? In the piggy bank? That's weird. Rotten chunk and vile powder. We were going to do something with those at one point. That's why. Rotten chunk and vile powder makes worm food. Summons the eater. Uh, but yeah, monster lasagna, cooking pot. It does require a cooking pot. Medium improvements, 8 minutes. Requires 8. And we've got 300. Um, yeah, I think we'll be using that once our lobster tails run out. Since we're just going to have the one stack that we don't have to worry about for a very long time. Let's put the water candles in here. And... Are there any other potions that I want to take into this fight? Summon potion? I think we've got those. One more fire imp is actually nothing to scoff at. Since piercing damage is so good against the wall. We don't need hunters, we can always see the wall. 16 though, that's brilliant. Oh! GLHF. GLHF, Undead Hunter. Thank you very much for the three, uh, three months of Prime. Much appreciated. And uh, good luck, have fun indeed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, we've actually got six burgers I've been hoarding. So that's nice. Let's just put the food in here for now. Alright. We've got the best... Bureau the brown one, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Kid Kidua, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, we've got regen, iron skin, speed, uh, magic, don't think we really need Featherfall. I guess it can't hurt. Uh, Night Owl, Thorns. We're not using arrows. 
Titan is really irrelevant here. Heart Breach we're using. We need Summon. And I don't believe we can get Life Force yet. I could be wrong. I think I vaguely remember being able to break sequence break with this with this seed. Uh, Inferno Potion isn't bad actually against the wall. I think it kills the hungry or bumps them or something. We're not going to make a luck potion. All right. So, summon a potion. Summon a potion. Oh, I think we need these fish. And we may as well make the, the last endurance potion. Inferno. Uh, summoning. Can only make one actually. And I've got a Titan potion. I wonder if the Titan potion and the Inferno potion interact. That would be amusing. And Featherfall, why not? Okay. I think we're about as prepared as we can be. Uh, put these back. We have 65 mana potions, bottled honey. We never did get the regen on taking damage. Which would have made the bottle honey, uh, bottled honey irrelevant, pretty much. But that's okay. We don't need any ammo. I think this is it. All in on magic damage. And bees. I could roll some of this stuff to be higher, but it's probably fine. Actually, crit strike on the hive pack would be better. But I don't think we need to go that far. Uh, and I almost forgot we actually need some voodoo dolls. I saw them over here somewhere. There we go. All right, wall. Show me what you got. That that missed actually. Buff. And let's just keep our sweet distance. Oh, it's already a quarter down. Wow. Oh, I should have summoned one more minion. There we go. I'll switch to Flame Lash once it gets really fast. No. Or maybe the, uh, the fork would be better. The blood moon is rising? Ow, ow. Don't get stuck here. Do not. Oh, God. really? I can't move? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. This is bad. 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 I can't fall fast enough. Uh... I think the feather fall potion screwed me over. I never remember to hold down when I want to fall at normal speed, and it got me 
stuck in that one little spot that I thought was not going to get me stuck. Nice damage? Yeah, it really is. Uh, what potions do I have to recreate that I thought we'd only need one of? This one. I think it requires two. Don't tell me we're short. What does it cost to get? Does it really cost two obsidian fish to get an inferno potion? Oh, there's no guide now. I can't check. And I can't attempt the wall of flesh until he shows up in the morning. Uh, not happy, Jen. Yeah, Terraria is rather awkward movement. Really messed me up right there. Plus the Featherfall. I shouldn't have used the Featherfall. It's really not necessary. Like, technically, more control over our height is better for dodging the lasers, but muscle memory says no. I don't think I have a... Could you stop? I don't think I have a enchanted sundial so we can skip time. Another magic mirror. I could go do another queen bee. Looking for that item. I really don't feel like doing that. I also lost the ingredients for the only... Uh, summoner potion that I was going to make, but I don't think the third imp was making that much of a difference. What time is it? 11 p.m. Let's try a fishing quest. Oh, blood moon fishing? We could do some blood moon fishing. Let's get out of the um, corruption biome first. Holy crap, I was not paying attention to that. Blood Moon Fishing. I'm not going to put on my fishing gear for this one. Actually, a sonar potion would be a good idea. Not interested in a red snapper. Dread of the what now? Dread of the Red Sea. It's a painting. <laughs> okay. Trout. Uh, I pulled in a trout. Rip. Another trout. You don't have to react that quick. I'm taking my hand off the mouse. Red snapper. Shrimp. I forgot to be scared of the stars. Zombie merman. That's what we're looking for. Oh, he's a lot slower when he's swimming. 
Oh, wow. Flame Lash. We already got the Chum Caster. Brilliant. Alright, let's uh, swap things up here. Uh, give me back my bait. Uh, give me the chum caster. 25% fishing power, but better chance to fish up enemies during the blood moon. Wandering Eye. I think Flame Lash should be better. It's when there's lots of enemies that the bees are still better. Like the many segments and little enemies. That... Oh, that's one way to get a money trough. I didn't realize that. Zombie Merman. Are we going to cheese him again? Yes, indeed. That looks weird. Corruption worms swimming through the ocean does indeed look rather strange. Surly slime? It's a pet. We found one of the pets with the blood moon fishing. Alright. Ocean crate, hell yes. Although, I guess we've got everything, except for the diving helmet. Um, we've got everything we could possibly want from the ocean. Love him. Oh, that's a red snapper. I don't need that. Zombie murmur. Whoops. Zooming back in... Uh, zooming back out made me think I was running towards him. Because we're on the edge of the map. That's what we want. That's what we came for. Well, that and the chum caster, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. Oops. So now we have... That was a... <laughs> can, can we really say it was a bad ocean crate if we got a legendary breathing rod? I'm going to mount this on my wall. In here, I think. I don't actually have a place to fit it. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. My most prized possession. Dread of the Sea is rather large. Ten gold and nothing else from that crate. Interesting choice. Why do we hate it? Hate what? The breathing rod? I mean, it's... 11 melee damage. It, it's rather early game. Kind of item. It does let us sit under the water and breathe like this, though. Alright. 
Are we just about ready to try again? Is the guide back? I didn't check. The guide is not yet back. Oh, there he is. I was about to say we're on his schedule now, but uh, not so much. Let's put away the chun stuff. And I guess we're trying it without Inferno Potion. Alright. Don't need to resupply anything else, I don't think. Now my inventory is overflowing again. Black Lens. Still only good for the same things. Ideally... Oh, it's 7.40am. Yeah, let's go. Uh, ideally, we want to kill the Wall of Flesh during the day, so the guide comes back sooner. That's rude. Alright. Take two. Oh no, I still have the Featherfall. Um, I'm actually going to delete it. Because that messed me up so much last time. Uh, why did I do that? Maybe I should just try to get used to it. Just have to practice falling faster, holding the down button. Not that that's a skill, it's just something we have to reinforce. I should also get ahead of getting through here, like I didn't do last time. It's Demon trying to MVP. Alright, I don't need the map for the rest of it. I only have one minion, not that it makes a whole lot of difference. to switch weapons, I think. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he's already dead. That's how close we were last time. Probably. The bees are just the best deeps against the wall of flesh. I thought I would have to... Maybe even go all the way back to town, but uh, nope, not even close. Alright, let's see if we get laser rifle. We do get laser rifle and demon heart. We can now have another accessory. Laser rifle is go. Let's compare it to our... Oh, we're getting better stuff from the Mimics already. Oh yes. Uh, 50 magic damage, very fast. Weak knockback, of course, 12% crit. 73 magic damage, very fast. This is actually better than the Laser Rifle, if you can hit with it. Which, against something like the Wall of Flesh, you definitely can. Laser Rifle's still faster, though. Probably pretty similar DPS. Uh, we got the Summoner Emblem, which is not what we're looking for at the moment. Sully the 
surly slime has arrived. That was the one we found. Oh, I'm running back, forgetting I can just teleport. Um, Alright, we're going to need another guide voodoo doll. Let's go get one. All of a sudden, we should be able to fish up better stuff as well if we were playing hardcore scaredy cats. We could go do a whole lot of fishing. Um, do I have a... I need a water candle so we can find demons faster. I think I took those out of the piggy bank, which was of suboptimal intelligence. Here we go. Where would be the coziest spot to farm demons? Probably where there isn't much chance of them dropping into lava. And not much line of sight. But plenty of opportunity for them to spawn just off screen. Like right here. I guess we could do some lava fishing while we wait. But my imp flew through the wall. Uh, I wonder if we could even... We can... Throw through that gap. Alright, let's grab some bait. I could even go fishing. I love how easy it is to switch. That's a bee. Oh, that's probably... A, that must be a mimic. Uh, yes please. How am I gonna hit him? Never mind. Oh. I thought that would reach three. I'm trying not to lose that mi mimic over there. I think we'll just make a bigger hole. I should just put a door here. No, don't jump in the lava. He's actually fine. Oh, he's stuck. Perfect. The ease of use of the laser rifle has a lot to say about whether we should use that or something else, though. Oh, the uh, hard mode Hornet is super OP. Oh, no. Alright. We got a Titan Club. Fantastic. I didn't realize it was an axe until now. Wait, what's an axe? At the axe of regrowth? JP, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's make a door so that if I get caught with my fishing pants on, um, we can back away. But let's just steal this one. Don't like that demon. Let's use the bees. Cool. It's actually a lot of enemies over here, which means demons aren't going to be spawning. Um. 
Let's run over here until they despawn. Do we have the guide? I guess it doesn't matter until we have a, a voodoo doll. Just realized I had a chainsaw this whole time. <laughs> yes, a chainsaw is in fact an axe, technically, in this game. Uh, this is turning out to not be the best place to farm demons, at least not if I sit in the middle of the building. I need to give them more access. Let's just dig this away. difficult to find voodoo demons. Che Fort, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sawtooth Shark, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a decent get. Considering how early you could theoretically get it. Oh, especially on this seed, actually, now that I think of it. You can get it in, like, the desert biome. There's our voodoo demon. Now, don't drop it in the lava. I said don't drop it in the lava. Okay, cool. There's no access to the lava here, actually. Should we try and get another one? I'm kind of low on health. Kind of extra low on health, actually. Alright, let's make ourselves a power glove. Melee speed, auto swing, size of melee weapons, and melee knockback. Actually, I kind of want to see what that looks like with... I haven't even been using this accessory slot yet. That's kind of big. Yeah, that's like a whole extra tile of reach on the big one. Cool. Uh, does dual hook have more reach than a, than a diamond hook, I wonder? No, I think it's the same, but all the same, I like the dual hook better. So we, our, our precious diamond hook lasted all of two milliseconds. No, I think the diamond hook is actually slightly longer. All right, diamond hook it is. And don't need the relic. I do need the grave markers, weirdly enough. Is our guide back? He is. Let's take another crack at it. This time we have the laser rifle. Sell this. Um, don't really care for a summoner emblem at the moment. Oh yeah, wings. Uh, is it nighttime now? 
it is probably not nighttime now. We can get plus one minion if we want. Uh, it's 9.24 p.m. It is nighttime. I think he has to be on the surface. Well, I do have a way to get jungle surface with relative ease, actually. Um, and it involves the ocean. We're going to need some wood or something. Let's pick up whatever building material we've got the most of. Uh, mud blocks actually make a ton of sense here. And I think I can buy jungle grass seeds. That's just grass seed. How dare you. Okay. You can buy dryad coverings. Dryad loincloth. Amazing. Uh, I'm getting a little... Magically moves dirt could actually be... Useful here. I've never actually uh, made use of this before. <laughs> Alright, let's grab some dirt. And we're going to use our dirt rod. We're going to put down a piece of dirt. And... Oh god. Okay. Okay. We're going to take our dirt and bring it all the way over here. And it's going to drop to the bottom of the ocean, actually. That's... that's not how I planned it. Um, I think it might prove a little more difficult than expected now that we're in hard mode. Although, I'll definitely take this uh, Cursed Flame. Thank you very much. So what I have in mind here is I'm going to need a flipper, actually. Or I could use... Uh, I don't have a flipper potion. Okay. Even if I do use the gills potion, I should use the flipper for this. Because every moment it takes is going to be potentially dangerous. Menacing Flipper? Okay, we're going to run away from these tiles as quickly as possible. And we're going to put on our Flipper we already have. Let's use a Gills Potion. And... Mud Block. We're going to build it up from the bottom of the ocean here. What was that? Oh, I see. Oh no, this is like underground corruption. Oh no. Get me out of here. Okay, what is that? Hop Hoppin' Jack. Ow, that was poorly dodged, to say the least. Okay. Regen. Iron skin. Uh, relatively inexpensive food. Uh, we actually got the hardest part done already. We're going to build uh, dirt all the way up here and then put jungle seeds in it. Uh, and we're going to create a surface jungle biome up here. And then we should be able to Make a little house, uh, bring the voodoo doctor up here, and uh, and buy our first wings. Oh my god, I can't even see what they're doing. Nope. 
I literally had my finger on the potion of return. We dropped a platinum. <sighs> I guess we have to use a hunter potion for this. Because we can't be left alone for 12 seconds. I should use a calming potion as well. Calming potion, hunter potion. Buck Buck, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Two months, thank you so much. And uh, welcome back in. So the dirt rod didn't actually... Didn't actually work the way I expected it to. I thought I would be able to place it in the air. That's pretty much useless. Okay. Once more with feeling. As is light. Once we get rid of whatever enemies chased us. And it seems to be more than one might think. They just disappeared. Because normally the screen is centered on us. Okay. Uh, calming potion, hunter potion. We've got flipper. I don't think we're going to be down there long enough to need gills. And we need to build this thing up as quickly as possible. Oh, I can't see for the freaking inventory. How did you... There's two of them. Oh my god. Bruh. So, Laser Rifle was actually just murdering two of those at the same time, like it was one. But how did they end up right on top of each other to begin with? Don't hit me. Alright, we got there eventually. This would have been a lot easier to do before hard mode. Alright. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve seems good. And I'll probably just make it out of mud. We're going to need some back walls. I need some wood or something for that. Uh, we know the best place to get wood. Actually, I should get more palm wood while I'm at it. And cactus. Especially since the axe makes it so easy to re-farm them. I think I'm hearing, yeah, a little mini uh, desert biome is spawning mummies. That won't be any good unless they're light or dark mummies, though. What axe is that? It's the upgrade from the Staff of Regrowth. Uh, it does everything the Staff of Regrowth does, and also creates grass on dirt, increases alchemy plant collection, that's the same. Uh, plants acorns when you cut down trees. Very nice.
So all of these trees are getting replanted without me bothering to do anything. Yeah, it's it's great. Brilliant little quality of life improvement. Alright, that's actually way more wood than I thought it was. Not that I'm complaining. So now we can make a... Oh, this is actually where it teleports to us. It teleports us to now. Nice. Let's get ourselves some... Tables and chairs. Candelabras. Doors. Back wall. Does that work for the gem trees? Uh, no, it does not. I, yeah, I actually just uh, wondered that myself. Maybe because you might want to switch gem tree type or something. I don't know. Um, need a table and chair. Well, I guess we don't really need the two homes here, now that I think about it. Just built it out of habit. Alright, so we're going to move the witch doctor in here. And we need to find ourselves some jungle grass seeds. Which I thought the dryad cells, but... Turns out to be wrong. Uh, this is such a mess. Let's put hard mode stuff on the left. Gold chests right about here for now. Quick stack all the things. Hammer goes in the piggy. Dirt rod is garbage that we're gonna sell. Disappointment immeasurable day ruined. Um, we don't need any more mud blocks. Give me back that wood. Wait, what? Do I need a workbench? Yeah, I think I did need a workbench. And demonite brick. Put in the cosmetic building materials. Okay. So, jungle grass seeds. Only one way to look for those. Since our dryad friend only sells regular, she sells hallow seed, hallowed seeds as well. I don't. I'm getting the feeling there's not going to be a single piece of hallow on this world, unless shouldn't hallowed have been created? Normally, hallowed would have been created when the eater of uh, when the wall of flesh died. Oh, there's our jungle grass seeds. That was quick. Okay. So we're going to plant jungle grass seeds. And... Uh, I should have kept the mud on me, actually. Because we could actually speed this up a bit. With, like, a... Crisscross pattern. But once there's enough jungle grass here... This will count as surface jungle. And our witch doctor should... Sell us wings. Acts of regrowth OP, indeed. Alright, in the meantime, uh, why don't we... Didn't I get another voodoo? 
Yeah, here it is. Why don't we do the Wall of Flesh again? Uh, but I, f I should figure out an accessory that's actually going to buff us. Uh, I guess ignoring knockback wouldn't be the worst. Let's call that plan A. A second... Uh, the, the upgrade of the shark tooth necklace would have been nice. Um, we should really reforge the laser rifle. It's going to be relevant for a long time. Mystic? I've got two plat. We can probably do better than Mystic. That bat is actually super dangerous. Uh, so is that Merman. Get out of here. Masterful? I can live with Masterful until we find a spare to reroll. Okay, anything else? Um, oh, 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 that bat that I said was dangerous. Okay. Alright. Uh, we should probably... Why am I so slow? Weak, darkness, feral bite. Jeez. And there's another one already. Be gone. Oh my god, it's Tim. Tim, now is not the time. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I made that a switch instead of a touch plate. Uh, we need some actuators. So we can seal this off. And some more wire. Okay, uh, let's see. Actuator plus this, not those two, and give me a switch or something. There we go. It's kind of hard to see though. Um, why don't we cut the red wire? Oops. Make it blue. Also, we're not gonna show actuators all the time, brightly. Okay. And then... like this. Alright. That keeps the bats out. Uh, let's quick stack that away. Sell the wizard hat, we've already got one. Oh, we already got a soul of night. Without even looking. Okay, so our accessories... I think, for the moment, at least we will go with the obsidian shield. Let's make it warding. Uh, menacing? Didn't I make a spare of this? If I have a spare, I don't want to reforge a menacing. Where did I put it, though? Oh, was it on one of the other... No? I forgot I had the frog flipper. That's a thing. Uh, I, I guess this is fine for now. Actually, let me just double check. Oh, that's the big version of Tim. This guy... 
Having him able to show up at our town here is not encouraging. Maybe I should get one more NPC. It should prevent enemies from spawning. Three, four, five. Oh, now we're going to get an ice golem spawning. Oh my god. Really? Okay. Well, since we're playing mage right now. How about some of this? And I'll put... Put the molten over here. Okay. Uh, I could have sworn I had a... A spare obsidian shield. I know I had spare... Cobalt shields. I have no idea where they are. Oh, is it in here? No. It must be down here. Okay, then. Please don't tell me this. This is counts as corrupt now. It does. I can tell by the music. Uh, it's gonna spread. I'm gonna have to move the house. Ravna. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. Let's check on our spreading jungle biome. It has not spread a single tile. He's already moved. Uh, now that I the snow pylon isn't going to work. We don't need the ocean pylon. Um, oh. Did... Did this really just go from one to four tiles of grass? Just now, while I wasn't looking? Interesting. Actually, I will get the ocean pylon because... I'll be able to teleport in here and not have to be on the outside of this. But if it becomes jungle, that ocean pylon might just not work. Alright, soul's in here. What should I do in the meantime? Wall of flesh? Yeah, let's go wall of flesh. That was the idea before. All right. Just have to make sure to watch out for that one piece of terrain. He's already almost half dead. go. Fantastic. He's still taking damage from the bees. I haven't shot at him in like 20 seconds. We'll know exactly when he comes through that gap by the damage numbers. There it is.
Oh, there's a mimic. I think the bees are actually still better when he gets closer. is quite easy as long as you don't get stuck somewhere. What loot did we get? We got another laser rifle and another summoner emblem. Seriously. Uh, the goat skull is kind of cool though. But I don't really want to carry it with me all the time. Maybe in here. I always put it in there and end up not using it. So that wall of flesh kill was kind of a complete waste. <laughs> um, we got a spare laser rifle. We can re-roll this one until we get mythical. Oh right, he's not here anymore. Jungle is spreading quickly, though. Uh, sure. One one shot the mythical. Why not? Um, that's pretty good, actually. We gained speed, crit, and knockback. Compared to what we already had. May as well sell this one. Uh, a spare summoner, summoner emblem is not a bad thing. What is this? Rubble maker bracket small. Plus three range used with materials to place matching rubble. Right click to toggle placement size. Press up slash down to cycle through styles. Not a pile driver nor a placinator. It's a rubble maker. So I guess this is for cosmetic stuff for builds. Interesting. This isn't a jungle yet, is it? Nope. Oh, I can hear the ocean music still. Alright. Uh, what time is it? 1 a.m.? Let's see if we can get a fishing quest done before the guide respawns. Caught in surface forest. This, believe it or not, counts as surface forest. Oh yeah, let's put our fishing gear on. Well, that was quick. Uh, we got bangs can be placed. Oh, I see. That's cute. That's a lot of blink root, indeed. I may be overcompensating slightly for how hard it is to get blink root started. And the fact that you never know how much you're going to be able to harvest at any given time. It's possible. Looks cool though, thank you. Place go burn. Why are we falling? Oh, right. Because I'm wearing my fishing gear. Is why we're falling into the water. Wait a sec. We got a spare pair of um, water walking boots. Which means... 
uh, if we can find ice skates, I think that's the main bottleneck right now. We've got spare water walking boots, spare obsidian rows, and I thought we had spare whatever the other thing is. Uh, all I'm saying is another pair of Terra Spark boots is not that far away. So that we would not lose that movement that we're used to when we switch loadout. Alright. Uh, where should we be going right now? Duke Fish Run, obviously. I could take the steps that I would be taking if I was going to do the earliest possible Duke Fish Run. I need Crystal Storm. Um, I think we need the Wizard for that. We turn a bunch of Crystal Shards and Souls of Light and maybe something else like a book or something into a spell. Where is this Traveling Merchant? I actually don't... Oh, here we go. No? Is he up there? Where's the Traveling Merchant? Oh, that is one plat. I should probably try and pick that up. Yeah. Before I forget, traveling merchant. Here he is. Water gun. Yeah, nothing we need. Okay. Let's see if we can't pick up this uh, platinum without dying. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'll do the thing to encourage this becoming a jungle biome more quickly. Alright, down we go. There's actually already enemies in the way. I saw that spit coming. We got the plat. Let's, let's book. Okay. Um, sell these things. And... I need to find Underground Hallow. Um, maybe it just hasn't shown it because I'm... because I haven't physically gone there. But I would have thought the map would show me where there's Hallow. It does, right? Can you explain why you placed those tiles like that on the house? Uh, just to help the, uh, the jungle grass spread faster. That's all. Oh! Mimics! Mimics! Make, mimics are strong now. Not that they were weak before. They also have better loot. He's looking a bit stuck. Why is that not doing damage? Okay. Um, how am I going to get this Mimic safely? That'll do. We already got a Philosopher's Stone. Fantastic. We can combine that with... I should really take this somewhere else before this pylon stops working. In fact, that goes for a lot of things here. Uh. No, I can just buy another one. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, we can combine Philosopher's Stone with Regen Band. Regen plus Potion Cooldown Reduction.
I'm still not hearing jungle music. It would surprise me if I did already. Since I was able to... Oh, uh, that's very annoying. There we go. Uh, since I was able to teleport here using the pylon. Okay. I wonder if it's possible to make a jungle biome where the ocean belongs. Now that I think of it. I guess I could... It's going to be a lot more difficult to put it somewhere like here. Like, really difficult, actually. Um, but yeah, before I ran into a Mimic, I didn't see any sign of Underground Hallow. Which is what we need if we're going to get Crystal Storm. The mana minigun, if you like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about this before. Um, but I was, I was saying before, the Dryad sells Hallowed Seeds. don't know if she normally does that. But regardless, uh, we may have to deliberately plant Hallow in this seed. Because I'm normally it comes from the... Uh, the Ancient Spirits of Light and Dark have been released. That would suggest to me that we've got Hallow and more Corruption. Normally it comes up in like a V shape from the bottom center of the map. But I wouldn't be I'd be very surprised almost if it wasn't different this time. The only question is if we're gonna create Hallow. Where should we do it? Probably at this desert spot, because then we'll be able to get light mummies as well. And we can also hang in the air and stay away from most enemies. Unless it counts as underground hallow. There's a whole section of the map here I should have searched more. That might be where our underground hallow is. The surface basically counts as underground corruption. Uh, I, I think we probably need to seed it ourselves. What am I doing? And I really should go to the trouble of... Sealing this off. But I'm lazy and I'm not going to do that. At least not yet. Why don't we travel by rail a bit more carefully this time. Alright, here we are. Give me hello seeds here. And here. Hello seeds. I 
may regret this decision. I love Mr. Sludge. Why is he toxic? He's so cute. Is he toxal? He is... Yeah, unfortunately, despite the smile, he is not very friendly. Or if he's trying to be friendly, he's doing it wrong. Alright, and maybe a bit to the right. Alright, it'll take a few minutes at least, but that will get... It's already spreading. Uh, that'll turn this area into hollow. We'll be able to get light shards from mummies. We'll be able to get souls. We'll be able to get... Uh, once it spreads to the stone anyway, uh, we'll be able to get crystal shards. And that'll let us make the crystal storm. I'm actually constantly out of mushrooms on this save. Does the halo stop the corruption? It does, but it'll overtake the forest. Um, the NPCs don't mind living in halo. In fact, some of them love it. But it will still spawn nasty enemies, except for where there's a town. Alright, let's check in on our potential artificial jungle. I'm still hearing... I'm still hearing uh, ocean music. It might just not be enough tiles as well. It'll also go faster if I do it this way. Whoops. I should really set up a door so that... We can easily, safely get in here, assuming the ocean pylon won't work. If... oh! I see jungle spores. I don't know if that means that it will become a jungle biome, or if it has nothing to say on the matter. And down here, I'll put a tile. So when we conch, it should send us right there. No, it sends us up, up here, even though it's not the rightmost spot. Interesting. Um, I'll wait till the jungle seeds spread to this tile at least before I put a door here. And it's probably overkill, but let's do one more. Oh, there it goes. We can put a door there now. Uh, but yeah, this is the pattern that'll spread the grass the fastest, because it's probabilistic. Just like how trees can either take many moons or two seconds to grow. Alright, cool. The traveling merchant has departed. And... I guess, since we're waiting for biomes to spread, let's kill the wall of flesh again. I don't believe I have another voodoo doll, though. We 
we should be able to do it with relative ease. But first I need a voodoo demon. Oh, nope, that's a regular demon. Is there any reason for me to go to the underground jungle yet? I don't think so. I can't remember the sequence for when we're able to get chlorified. Come to think of it, uh, I have no idea where I'm going to get hard mode metals. Let's whip out another water candle. What is that sound? Oh, we got a... a magma stone. Melee attacks inflict fire damage. I think I can combine that with the... power glove that I already put away. Ow. I am looking forward to trying out more melee weapons. It is very difficult to get the timing so that we don't waste a shot when we're controlling this around the corner. Ow. We're getting plenty of demons, but not voodoo demons. spread outside the forest. Uh, the hallow? Yeah. Um, as long as it has... It, it follows the same rules for spreading as the corruption. So it needs... Okay, not entirely the same rules. Um, it needs grass or stone. Uh, and I can't really think what else. The corruption will turn mud into dirt, though, and will eat away at the jungle. Uh, the hallow won't do that. But mostly, mostly grass and stone is what will spread it. I do need a bookcase if I don't have one already. I love how the underworld becomes the safest place in early hard mode. I don't love how long it's taking for a demon, a voodoo demon, to show up.
This is actually getting kind of crazy. How's our potential junk? Wow, okay. Uh, if that doesn't count as jungle now, I'm pretty sure it can't count as jungle because of the ocean. Let's have a look. But first, I'll get rid of this. Uh, apparently, I have forgotten what this does combine with. Let's just put it in here for now. I was going to talk to the guide about it. Whoops. What's our quest? Underground Hallow. We don't have that yet. How's our Hallow looking? Oh, it's actually spreading... kind of fast. Yeah, once it gets into the sand, it's really gonna spread quickly. Okay. Anyway, let's check this, uh... That sounds like the ocean to me. Okay. So, I could either... I think the play is actually to build a bridge of uh, where is it? To build a bridge of mud blocks from what we just built over there. Not enough villages? Oh, that's not because it's the wrong biome. Alright, so we want to build this up far enough that it's going to hover above and not attract corrupt enemies, uh, but low enough that it's not going to attract harpies. Why are we hearing space music? I wish we could see what biome we're in. I still don't have a depth meter. Get out of here, hoppin' jack. That's a lot faster. What's the what are they shooting at? It's making me nervous. Okay, this is hopefully high enough. It's giving us ocean music again. So why why were we getting space music? Okay, that's better. Normally, I wouldn't do this sort of thing, but this seed. I just want some wings. I think we just got really, really unlucky not finding wings. I'll probably delete it as soon as... As soon as we do get our wings, actually. I need something that hits harder. This barely hits at all, actually. Oh no, there's two of them. Oh no. We can't kill them as fast as they appear. Flame Lash? Okay, that's better. Gonna have to get some more jungle grass seeds because expecting the grass to spread along a one tile thick thing like this so far is not gonna be so good. Is 
as soon as we stop hearing the ocean music. There we go. Go a little bit further. Uh, this is sky music. Maybe it's too high up. But I imagine... I should have tried this first, actually. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Hi. Uh, this living wood doesn't count as corruption biome. And the trees are actually tall enough. It seems. We could build, like, a tree house. Uh, with jungle grass up here. We probably didn't need to build that bridge like that at all. Let's go get some more jungle seeds. Should be easy enough to get them from here. I think we got one. It's a start. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting laser. Laser rifle, it's actually pretty good. Grass seeds begin, and I'll actually spread this across here. Probably go looking for some more jungle grass seeds. Except the underground jungle is terrifying. Uh, well, let's try and make it quick, I guess. Jungle grass seeds. Okay, this is like the jungle surface, actually. We're getting derplings, so why... Why doesn't the uh, voodoo doctor sell his thing? Sell his wings? Oh. It's already chlorified here, but we can't mine it. Oh yeah, trappers. Ow, 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 jeez. Uh, turtles are also terrifying. Um, trappers have a very small chance to give us an Uzi, which is a side grade from the Mega Shark. It's not half bad. I 
don't think it dropped an Uzi this time. Nope. Anyway, we got one jungle grass seed. We can speed up this process by quite a lot. Ow, jeez, I wasn't looking. That thing could have two shot me. Get juggled by bees. Alright, try and place this in the middle. Fantastic. That shouldn't be too long. And then put all this away. Goody bag can't give us better stuff, right? Unicorn. Alright. Um, I should probably start using the Nimbus Rod instead of that sentry thing. Although I was primarily, primarily using the sentry thing to... Where did our goblin go? I was primarily using the sentry thing... Uh to reveal areas with the light source. But it would be nice to have some actual damage come out of something like this. I haven't... I barely used the mini shark, and when I did I regretted it because there were two enemies stacked on top of each other. Let's have a look at our hallow. Oh. Mushroom. Precious mushrooms. I think I saw another one. That's a pot. That is a hello minion. Fantastic. Possessed armor, not so fantastic. It's not the most dangerous thing, but it's definitely one of my least favorite enemies. Alright, this is well and truly Hallow now. Or at least it counts as the Hallow biome. get souls. That's the main thing. Uh, not just souls, we need crystals. But for that we need it to spread to stone. I should probably uh, place a bunch of stone so that we can get our crystals. Yeah, let's... Normally this wouldn't be necessary, but let's get ourselves a piece of pearl stone. Uh, pearl sand would also do. And we're going to grab a bunch of stone. Oh, we can have two of those? Yeah, we can have two. That's pretty good, actually. I think I'll... That's why I was looking for our goblin. I wanted to reforge. I have no idea where he's gone. Is he at home base? Is he at jungle? Is he anywhere on the map? There he is. Yeah, we might have to go back to our old snow base. Which means this teleport is going to be no good. I'm going to have to extend it, the wire, all the way through this. 
Bruh. I really should do that sooner before the corruption spreads. Uh, Soul of Light can go in here. Let's go say hello to... Well, luckily the slime counts as a villager for the purpose of teleporting to this thing. We've got 23 plus 18. We've got like 40 items to move. That shouldn't be too difficult once I empty my void bag, actually. Sell some stuff. I'll keep the second shark tooth necklace on the off chance we find the honeycomb while it's still relevant. Oh yeah, before I forget. Stop chasing squirrels. Uh, let's get our stone. And I want to put this somewhere where it won't... Sp this is perfect, actually. Uh, underground mushroom biome. The hello won't be able to spread through this. It'll be able to spread through the stone here, but it won't take over the glowing mushrooms. So, worst case, it shouldn't manage to go too far. Uh, I think right about here would be good. Let's build... Well, how far is that going to spread? Possibly too far. Let's put it in the air. We want the smallest space that we can squeeze through. We want to maximize the area. Hello, fairy. And we'll leave this... Uh, Leave this piece of pearl sand here. That'll spread to the stone. Where is this fairy trying to take us, I wonder? We've been through here lots of times. In the early game. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is... Mimic... Probably not waste my mana for this. That's no real urgency. And again, it's just money to replace the mana potions. I'm not using potions that have to be farmed. Now, another one? Nope, that's a possessed armor. That's easier. Okay. Uh. Corruption and Hallow can jump like six tiles, so let's separate these if we don't want the pearl stone to spread. It can't jump to mud or glowing, glowing mushroom. I should probably just make the stone thicker, actually, until until it has spread. And we'll dig through this when the time comes. Uh, that way it'll spread faster. Thing. 
Maybe two more. I don't want to have a shortage of crystal shards when we're starting from nothing. We should accelerate it as fast as we can. In fact, let's grab this uh, sand and actually put it in the middle of all this. Alright, cool. Pull this out. Ouch. Can I auto place? Like, not really? taking a long time to get the first tick of spread, but that's exactly why we expose it to as many tiles as possible. We missed a spot over there, but it's fine. Oh, another Mimic. They're very common in this uh, seed. quickly. I also have no way to do what I used to do, whereby I'd match the, uh, ooh, cross necklace, match the rate that I throw out fire lance Violence? Flame Lashes. Uh, at the rate of mana region. Like this. But getting double hits with each attack. It is very much a side grade. But the utility... It, it, it's, it's much better damage, not as good utility. Um, the way the Flame Lash works now. Okay. We still haven't got the first bit of Pearlstone over here. Maybe we should go grab some more. Oh yeah, I was trying to empty my inventory so I can grab all this stuff. Uh, we don't really need this. How much damage is this? Only 12. It's not actually that great. It depends. But I'll put that away for now. Uh, I guess I'd better have a chest or two for the stuff I'm moving temporarily. And I'll put away the boss fight stuff. Since we can't seem to find any voodoo demons. Alright. Did I empty the void bag? Right. We got cross necklace. That's really good. I should put it where I have the obsidian shield. And we can combine that with star cloak, which we don't have yet. So I'm not going to bother re-rolling the cross necklace yet. Because this is just a straight upgrade. Alright. Loot all... 
Loot all. Fantastic. Um, probably just leave that. Uh, it's fine. So we're going to need to take this teleporter with us. Quick stack into the void bag. It's actually full. No, it's not. Give us more wire. And... Is 1400 going to be enough? I'd rather spend more money. It's going to be dangerous going through the... The ice area. I'd rather spend more. And not have to come back to it. Turtles in particular could probably one shot me. I need to kill piranhas still. Uh, I think they're the ones that can drop the depth meter that we still don't have. We need to see blue wires brightly. And. Cut that. Place down here. I should just get over my OCD and just run through here quickly. Not care which way it goes. If I must care that much, I can go fix it up later. We're just going to run this straight down to the old base, and so far as we can. What's this one? It's a... Uh... What kind of fire is that? Let's just get out of here. Let me three. Hopefully we'll still have enough what I can't get through. There we go. Alright, and here we are. We actually have way more than enough wire. But I didn't pick up the teleporter. <laughs> Alright. Do we still have the pylon? We do. I did pick up the teleporter. It's in the void bag. Fantastic. Uh, I don't really want to run that particular gauntlet again. Let's do it this way instead. As is light. And up we go. I've actually got all the info right now. Except, of course, for depth. Alright, teleporter here. Uh, we need a lever here. And that'll still send us to the dungeon. Snow pylon. Go here. Fantastic. Now we just need to bring back... Well, let's finish this house that we never finished building. Just gotta bring the mechanic back into it. Door. Boreal. 
ice uh, torch. That's not an ice torch. That's a mushroom torch. You can't fool me. Mushroom torch. Be gone. Alright. Uh, let's get some background walls. Fix up these walls that we didn't have a while ago. Hey, Andy Gamey. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, Clothia, come here. Mechanic, come here. And we're back. Back in business in our old base. Uh, okay, let's put this stuff in here. Titan glove. Uh, sell this. Remake that. Trash that. Trash that. Uh, trash that because I'm lazy. Loot all... Quick stack? No. I should just sort first. Oh, I meant to sort up here. Okay. Oh, the, I forgot there was a demon altar here. Right in the middle of the mechanic's house. Um, alright then. And I was gonna, as a rule, have these utility things that we want to combine in this chest. Stuff that makes things like the cell phone. Oh. Good vampire frog. Should probably block that off. Okay, let's get rid of this uh, die. Because the rune wizard stuff looks awesome. I might just sell it. Rather than worry about having to put it somewhere. Can't combine anything right now. What did I want to reforge? The uh, Nimbus Rod? Where did it go? Oh no. I actually have no idea where the Rimbus, uh, Nimbus Rod went after all that. Um, don't really need another Tinkerers, but whatever. Teleporter can go in here. Spike. These two. Alright. Back to spawn. And... Nice clean inventory. Shadow chest needs to go back in here. Uh, don't forget to refresh so we don't have to redo our minions. And... Money in the safe. Empty void bag. Fantastic. Just tired, rebuilt my tier 1 to 3 sciences. Wow. Yeah, that would be a lot of work. I'm still not hearing jungle music here. Uh, not really expecting to be able to buy wings. Let's see if we can get some seeds. Not this time. Uh, 
Let's see how our spreading of jungle is going over this way. Okay, that's pretty good actually. I'm still not hearing jungle surface. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Yikes. Uh, I'm still not hearing surface jungle music. Are we too high up? Or, or too far? Maybe I've got the wrong idea entirely. Maybe the surface can't actually have, like, quote-unquote surface jungle in this seed. I'm not seeing jungle enemies spawn. And I'm pretty sure this is enough tiles to make that happen. I mean, this, this right here should count as... Uh, the jungle pylon works here. Hmm... Does he just not sell wings on this seed? Wait, don't tell me there are no wings on this seed. I don't think I could handle that. No, no way. How's our little... Pearlstone is finally spreading. Fantastic. I think I would like it to spread faster though. We'll go steal some more pearl stone and or pearl sand. Oh, there we, there we go. There's our first crystals. I think we need like 15. Is that what I think it is? It is not. Uh, I think we need like 15 or 30 crystal shards to get our spell. Don't you dare. Gastropods are easy as long as you suppress them. Oh, rainbow slime. Now, two hundred and twenty three. Okay, I, I have to overest I have to try to overestimate every enemy at this point. What am I Oh there's a possessed armor there. It's really hard to see. I think it must be nighttime here or something as well. Uh as is light. We need we need all of the light, please. Gimme those crystals. Fantastic. We got a whopping five crystals. Aziz light. Aziz light, indeed. Uh, wasn't there a crystal here? There it is. It's very hard to spot. Oh, oh, oh. Do not... Okay, that's a pretty hard mode enemy. I could maybe underestimate that slightly get away with it. Fast clock. We've got a fast clock before we've got um, before we've got our depth meter. That's a little sad. Fantastic. I need a different spell for this. Uh, that works, actually. Light mummies are not very tough. Oh, we got our first light shard already. Uh, mummies in general, I should say. They're all the same stats, I'm pretty sure. 
Uh, I broke the desert. Rip desert. Let me out! Oh my god. Why can't I get through this? Even with a hook. Okay, that's a sound and a half. But it works. Alright, we got a whopping 10 crystals already. Brilliant. Got a lot more pixie dust than uh, crystal shards at this rate. Let's head over to our future crystal shard farm. If I can remember where I put it. It's actually starting to spread at a decent clip, um, but faster would still be better. should be able to come back here in the relatively near future and find nothing but pearlstone well and a little bit of pearl sand in this block of stone which will actually be more than enough to create an artificial biome but I'm gonna dig most of it out we're going to expose as much of the pearl stone to the air as possible to get crystals. We need a trifold map now. Uh, how about over here? And I'll just double check crystal shards. Uh, in order to make Crystal Storm, we only actually need 20, but we need 15 Souls of Light, uh, and a Spell Tome. I think we just have to buy that off the Wizard, which we haven't even seen yet. We need a Mech Boss for Rainbow Rod, which is a better Flame Lash. Mike Fu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm not sure where exactly to look for the wizard. Um, like, he should just be at a certain depth, pretty much. So, he really could be anywhere. I'm, I would imagine this kind of depth, though. Kind of the inverse of the normal game. Should I make, like, a reverse elevator? I could... Uh, it'd be a bit of a pain. Maybe I maybe a teleporter up the top and a regular elevator. It's going to be a pain to dig up, though. We've been over this. What can I do with the light shard? Probably nothing by itself. One more makes sky fracture, but we need souls. Dow of power also needs souls. We don't have a dark shard. Alright. Let's get some souls. And I think if I want night souls, uh, I'm just going to go to the ocean and like move back and forth up there. Oh, Oh, I didn't know they could grow on sand. That's... that makes it easier. 
We just need six more. There's the crystal. Clockwork assault rifle would be nice. It all goes back to we need to farm the wall of flesh, but the voodoo demons don't want to spawn. One, two, three to go. Can we get them through here? One, two, and I guess I could dig. I don't really want to dig there. But yeah, we're, we're bottlenecked on souls now anyway. Give me your soul. Oh, I didn't realize how low in health I am. Oh god, that was close. Oh my god. That was a dodge and a half, even if I say so. There's our last crystal. Alright, we've got everything but souls and the wizard. I think the wizard's going to be the harder part. Can we find the wizard in the dungeon? Ow. Oh, I'm really low. Let's leave. Mood things in here. We've actually got 12 souls of light already. I think it was 15 I need. So we really just need to find the wizard. Hmm. Hardened sand block. Be gone. And crystal shards in here. Sell this. What's in the void bag? Raincoat. Let's see how scary the dungeon is right now. Uh, but first I need... To get out of here. Honey. I don't know that the free Plantera hard mode uh, dungeon necessarily has anything to offer us. We might find the wizard here, though. Not seeing any new enemies. Kind of forgotten the sequence. Oh, we can get souls here. Soul of Night? Yeah? This is probably by far the safest place to farm them. Bees are still OP here. Let's get some light over this side. Was right, this is actually a really good spot. Hmm. 
I need to cover more ground though. Uh, assuming we can find the wizard here to increase our chances of finding the wizard. Banner here. Okay, so the dungeon's actually like one of the safest places. Free Plantera. Uh, but it does give us. If it's depth that matters, looking for the wizard, it does give us an opportunity to climb. Uh oh. Silence is OP. Maybe I should use a hunter potion. But I don't know if he's going to spawn in the dungeon, is the thing. What if I have to go to the sky to find the wizard? That would be unprecedented, but so are lots of other things. chest earlier. doesn't seem to be working. I should double check there isn't a way to make the uh, spell tome, but I'm pretty sure you just have to buy it from... Oh, this is an easy place to get dark shards. I'm pretty sure you just have to buy it from the wizard. Ow. We already got one dark shard, if I could just pick it up. There it is. I can make Dow of Power now. Uh, let's give it a try, because... Melee weapons... are different now. That's kind of scary, though. There we go. Ah! I forgot wraiths go through doors. There's another one coming from the left side. That's pretty effective, actually. It goes through walls. Or some... It, it does against wraiths, anyway. Um, this might be a mistake, but... Open sesame. Oh crap, I did not mean to dash. There we go, that worked out. Alright, not a bad haul. Let's let's get out of here. A 
should probably just put that teleporter inside. Oh, the wood went to the void bag, I think. No? Oh, I put it back. You absolute dub. Okay. Wood. Goes here. Teleporter. It's gonna block me, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Let's put it over here, I guess. I didn't realize I could put these on the on the walls. That's cool. Alright. Cut that. Build that. Teleport like this. Fantastic. Very good. Alright, let's put this away. Uh, I think we have most everything we need. We actually literally have everything we need to make Dao of Pow, unless we need a better anvil or something. Which is not out of the question. Mithril Anvil. But I haven't seen any hard mode metals. Do I just have to fish it up? Surely not. Surely there's some hard mode metal somewhere, and I've just missed it. Oh, I forgot. I have to break demon altars. For the hard mode metals. Alright, uh, let's get to it, I guess. Where did I put those books? I wanted to confirm... Oh, I already did confirm, I think. Books don't make spell tomes. They only make pianos and bookcases. Yeah. We need to find the wizard. The wizard is usually... Just in the wild, fairly deep. Probably need to look for him, like, here. Oh, there's a rail up there in the... In the... In, in yonder... Desert. Let's go left... With the rail. What, what did I have here? I think it was wood, maybe. I've been holding onto this trident for no reason all this time. Let's put it away. We got a Nazar, which gives us immunity to silence. Combines with the megaphone. I don't think we have a megaphone. Okay. So let's go to the desert, I guess. And... As is light. How far does that rail go? We're probably not far enough up, actually. Now, okay, that was... I'd still like to explore it. Yeah, this still counts as, like, forest biome. So I don't think we're finding... our friend here. Did you say Aziz Light? I did indeed. Air Kurgan? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Aziz Light! Aziz Light. We go and I 
need to pick a path through the underground desert. Oh, sneaky. I forgot those things can respawn. I would like to have that star. There we go. Is this the rail we're looking for? Or is it further up? Uh, I think the one we want, yeah, is definitely further up. The desert also seems to be one of the safer places in hard mode. Take this rail all the way to the left edge. Ow. And then squeeze up this way. Oh, now we've got some hard... Now it's like the underground desert. That might actually be incredibly dangerous to try to get through. I know those sand poachers charge at you like crazy. Ancient cloth. Okay. That's new. At least it's new to me. I think we can make our way through here, we just have to be careful. scares me. Ow. Probably rightfully so. Uh, I don't want to mess with whatever this is, but it seems to be stuck. That's good. Flame Lash is still by far our best weapon. actually almost there. Despite how strong some of the enemies are, they're not that difficult to get around. This one frightens me though, I don't know what it's capable of. Oh, I'm out of mana. What? Wow, I actually went through all my mana potions. Uh, let's be a little bit careful. This is the kind of biome where I would expect to find the wizard. Alright. Maybe just head back and forth. That is one hell of a trap. Delete, delete, delete. And let's get some vision in there. Whoops. And now we just dig down carefully because if we fall on top of a boulder, it still does maximum damage. And nothing too exciting. I don't think a dead man's chest could possibly have something exciting for us at this point. There's our wizard! Give me that spell tome. Fantastic. I'll take a ice rod as well. Wizard's hat? I've already got a rune hat though. It's nice that he sells it though. Um... 
We can also make a really strong weapon with the harp. I don't remember if we need... Um... I, I don't think we need any bosses for that. Where's my void bag? Here it is. That's what that gap was. Okay. Uh, how about deposit all? No, come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, we need a crystal ball. We need an... Did I already buy the ice rod? No. We need an ice rod. We need a harp. And... Uh, there's like three things that we might make with a spell tome, and it's not expensive. And we need mana. Give me all of the mana, please. Uh, Luki, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll answer your question the moment I can spare the attention. Alright. 400 greater mana potions should last us at least 7 minutes. Alright, let's head back. If I fight the destroyer in the snow biome, is there a chance of getting the frost key from all the segments? From Like, from each segment? I don't know. That's a good question. It's, uh, it's a good idea. Alright, let's see. Harp. Where's the guide? Oh, he's right on top of... Uh, we've got a... NPC Chimera here. Okay. Uh, harp makes the magical harp and nothing else. It needs souls. Oh, we have to kill one of the mech bosses for that. Yep. Uh, but it's actually incredibly powerful against the destroyer. Spell Tome is what we came for. We can now make Crystal Storm. And believe it or not, uh, well, if I could get some wings, uh, would... Well, no, I don't actually need the wings. Uh, but we're actually just about ready to fight Duke Fishrun. Air Coogan, thank you for the follow. Test it and tell us results? Yeah, true. Uh, okay. Ice Rod's going to make it a lot easier to get around in the air. Um, even after we have wings. It's also going to make it slightly easier to not um, die by exposure to space. Would it be fair enough to build a ceiling on the entire map? Would that not count as making an arena? Because I really don't want to fight air to air and have to worry about just instantly dying because I went too high and I have no point of reference. I think it's possible to get the corruption key by killing the eater in the corruption biome. Don't know about the snow biome. Okay. Um... Alright, Spell Tome. I forgot to ask, I think we need the Spell Tome for... No, it's a bookcase. Yeah, bookcase. Okay. We might need a few more souls. We need like three more souls. Alright. Let's check on... Oh wow, it's, it's, it's very much complete. We'll probably also get a couple of souls as we check on this thing. Maybe through here, actually. Up we go. It's over this way, actually. Yep, we can definitely get souls here, I believe. still have to go through a bloody mana potion just to kill one pixie, though. Ow.
maybe not if I use, uh... Oh, that's a soul. Alright, so one, two, get out of my face. And three. I said, and three. Could you, could you be persuaded to leave? Oh. Oh wow, that thing is way more powerful than it looks. Uh, I thought it was like a pre-hard mode enemy. I didn't realize it was a wandering eye. Okay, can we get in here and be relatively safe? Let me in. I really need a mining potion if I'm going to do this. With a nightmare pickaxe. Should probably hurry up and get the hard mode medals. But this will be all the crystal shards we ever need once it's done. Once I just dig it out, it's all going to be stone. I don't have to replace anything. Oh. Wow, there's already two crystal shards behind us where we just dug through. That's something else. Diggy diggy hole. I might make it so that it's like an S-bend, so that we don't get anything trying to come in from either side. I should have used mostly sand. It would have been so much easier to dig this out. I should have done the stone in the shape that we want uh, when it's done and filled the rest with sand. Well, it's done now. Is that what I think it is? Menacing Boza. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a yo-yo, because there's something else behind it. A lens, I think. This is with a mining potion. Oh, I should have brought the chisel. Well, I didn't realize it would take this long to, to dig through. Probably should have. What are you doing right now exactly? What is this for? Uh, see those crystals right there? They spawn on these blocks, uh, hallowed stone and or sand. Uh, and I'm just making the optimal shape to expose as many tiles as possible uh, to the world so that it maximizes the chance of crystal shards spawning. So we can come here and get crystal shards very easily, whenever we want. 
Uh, and I'm putting, I've put it in a place where it's not going to spread somewhere else and mess up a nearby biome. It has a while since I played Half Moon, so I forgot. No worries. Yeah, because uh, because it's probabilistic the way it spawns, just like how a tree can take one second or many moons uh, to grow from a sapling. Uh, having all of these tiles. I mean, look at this. It Crystal shards just keep spawning while we're here. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Alright. I'll take that soul. Thank you very much. Everything we need, I think, probably. More than 15 souls of light. Uh, more than 20 crystal shards. A spell tome and a bookcase. There it is, crystal storm. It is quite possible to beat Duke Fisheron with approximately the gear that we have now, only a bit more, you know, everything re-rolled to maximum and everything, and preferably with some wings instead of a horseshoe balloon. It's kind of expensive to re-roll. Demonic? I really would like mythical. Traveling merchant has a... Oh, he literally just appeared in front of me. Blue chicken egg. I don't want to pay for this, but I want to see what it... Ah, uh, fine. It is, in fact, a blue chicken. I, um... I, I don't know what I was expecting. But that is, in fact, a blue chicken pet. Alright, come take my money. Mythical. We just went from ignorant to mythical. Fantastic. Alright, so that is going to be probably weapon number three for now. Since we haven't been using the mini shark. It's kind of weak at this stage. To say the least. Alright, uh, yeah, that's more like it. Should we go for an early duke? Turn the tables? You're still not selling wings, are you? I'm really beginning to wonder if it's even possible to get wings on this seed. Uh, let me put this stuff away. I need to make a place for the wizard. He likes the hallow. I could... I'm not going to build a wizard tower this time. Last time I did that, it looked cool and everything, but... Uh, it's sort of a little bit kind of got in the way when I was trying to fight the Empress. Fantastic. Look at that DPS. Look at that change. Yeah. It's pretty mana efficient as well. 
And we can just spray it. Alright, let's try building... Ah, nope, 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 nope. Where could I safely... Oh, crap. Uh, where could I safely build a house in the Hallow? I should probably have looked before I got here. Oh, that was a waste. I was thinking of building it here, but that doesn't seem very feasible. Um, how about... No. Why am I almost dead? Uh, how about... Up here, kind of? That's not hollow. Down here. Doesn't have much access by the monsters. Alright. Let's get on this rail. I think I should put this in slot 1 and stop using the sword. Here it is. So we're just going to squeeze in here and start building. But let's avoid having the sand land on our heads. Why can't I block swap it? Oh, I can't block swap sand. Uh, that means this is as far up as I can go. I guess. ourselves a table, chair, door, lamp. That's not what I had in mind actually, but that's fine. I think I made the ceiling a bit higher than usual. This housing is suitable. And let's make him a friend's house. We'll have a hallowed pylon here.
Crystal Shard. I thought that was the the thing to summon Queen Slime for a second there. Is that the same distance? It'll bug me if it isn't. We got 12 by 8 and 12 by 8. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, wood goes here. Background walls. It's going to be 10 by 6, 60. We just placed 5. That should fill it out. Uh, we need some in here as well, though. Why is our vampire frog slow motion running? That's not the same distance. Cool. So when the party girl mo uh, moves in, she'll probably move in here. Wait, what? Since when can crystal shards... Spawn on grass? Huh. Uh, I think it's actually spawned hanging from this one, but it rendered it like it spawned from, gra uh, from the hallowed grass. That's different. Alright, crystal shards. They also make good ammo, especially for how little effort they are. Let's get that wood back. Fantastic. Fellstone can go in here. And Knight's Edge, I think. Unless we go back to melee, you can probably retire. Alright. Can we even find a... Truffle Worm? I do wonder that. Oh yeah, look how quickly we just melt through. Uh, possessed armor now. That feels good. Ow. Truffle worm. I guess we could hang around and get crystal shards while we look for truffle worms. Doesn't seem like the best area to find them though. Ideally, we want somewhere with a big, flat bit of mushroom grass. Makes them easy to spot after you remove the mushrooms. I wouldn't put it past this seed to just not have Duke Fisher on as a possibility, though. Or maybe we have to crack a demon altar first. I kind of forgot. We should probably do that anyway.
traveling merchant has departed. Oh, more mushrooms. Gimme, gimme. I should try not to waste quite so much mana, though. That's the only trouble with the media armor. Best DPS that you can get for a long time. But you're not just a glass cannon. You don't have much mana either, relatively. I mean, it doesn't give you any bonus mana, so... Which is, doesn't really matter for bosses, but for walking around, kind of does. Okay. We got fries. Give me some more regen pots. Oh, that was more than I expected. Cool. Not running out of those anytime soon. Um, we got burger and fries. Let's put the burgers in here, save them for boss fights. We'll go with lobster dinner for our usual. What should I do next? How about we try... I kind of want to try putting this uh, sky safety net up there. That's the one concession I'll make to an arena-less playthrough. I need a hunter potion if I'm going to be up here. Because the harpies are basically going to be invisible until it's too late. And I know I probably can't jump into space from here, but it's scary. Okay, I definitely can't jump into space from this height. It's probably better if I go... We've got a couple of sky islands already that are almost exactly max height. It's probably better if I go to those first. This one, in particular, it's almost exactly as high as we can go. Uh, if there are no wyverns, I'm going to guess that there's no wings on this seed. But we have to get there first. Um, might be easiest to start from the dungeon. And I don't know how safe it's going to be trying to, uh... Trying to do the trick where we ride Eaters of Souls up to the top at this point. I'll try. Uh, and food as well. Oh, this is a bad place. These are actually still relatively good against that. Give me those.
Where are we even? Alright, we're getting there. Oops. Go. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk about this. Good talk. I think I should stay here a minute. Oh, that was really unfortunate. Uh, okay. You know what? I think I will use a potion of return. We need to go to where the water is, and then we need to go straight up. I probably should have built a teleporter line up there. Uh, but really what I want to see if I can do is, once I get here, despite the harpies and possibly even wyverns, um, start building some blocks exactly up the top here, so that we no longer have to worry about instant death if our altitude goes too high. Alright, let's refresh this. And... Where is that buff? Bewitched. I thought so. I didn't actually check before now, but um, it's actually permanent. Once you touch the uh, bewitching table, you have plus one minion. You don't have to keep spamming it to refresh the timer, because there is no timer. That's actually a really nice improvement. means we never have to reconfigure our minions, except when we die. Okay, so now I need an Eater to show up. Or well, several of them, actually. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do what we did in free hard mode and ride them into space using the uh, slime mount. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have the ice rod. Where did I put it? Don't tell me it's in the void bag or something. Ice rod... it is. Okay. Up we go. Nope, 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 nope. This is bad, this is bad. Okay. Okay. Too many distractions. Up we go. Fantastic. Brilliant. Really glad I bought this. Now we just have to hope that we don't find wyverns before we can get relatively comfortable. Okay, that's a wyvern. That is very much a wyvern. Could you please dive in? No? You're still only half dead? Alright, cool. That's... that's fine too. Not really. I'm actually devastated. No, bad. No, very bad. Okay. Alright. Alright. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be not easy. 
we barely... It's pretty bad luck that a wyvern showed up, like, before we even got up there. But... Hmm. We need to be able to deal with wyverns very easily if we're going to build this um, sky ceiling. Uh, I really wish I'd thought of it before hard mode. Live and learn, I guess. Alright, we're basically there now. That was much easier. And we need to attach ourselves to this. I really should have brought a calming potion first. Oh god. I no, no, no. Uh, I jumped like it was an instinct. How the hell am I going to do this? And why did the wyvern have to spawn so quickly? Again. They're never there when you're looking for them. Should have brought a calming potion, an invisibility potion. Maybe I'm being too greedy trying to go that high to build the ceiling. Probably. Alright. Let's see if we can find any... Ruffle Worms. I wonder if they wouldn't appear at this depth, but like... Up here, for example. Is that a mimic? Indeed it is. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I had him... I thought I had him pinned. That's another cross necklace. I just want some wings, really. Let's go check out... Oh, I should have done my minions. It's fine. Oh, it's trying to hook me over there with the... with the, uh, mount. we go. Which way do I go? This way. Up, up, up we go. Fantastic. At least we got our deeps. Uh, and just up here. I want to look for truffle worms. Because I suspect they either can't be found on this seed or depth matters. And since, th since it's upside down, we have to go sufficiently high. Yeah, uh, basilisks haven't, not basilisks, uh, anom anomura fungus? I didn't see any of those spawning down below, so that could be it. Oh wow, the speed on that thing. I was, I was ready for it, but it was still almost too fast. And 
We're at the depth where we get these uh, giant sandworms as well. If we need a desert. Good to know. Alright, so we should be able to find truffle worms here. Perhaps. Where did I put my bug net? There we go. Ow. Invisible slime. Oh, I hate these things. I don't think it can shoot while it's uh, immersed in blocks, though. Don't underestimate those archers. Okay, give to me all of this, please. There's a travel one. They can be found. And we already have two. Fantastic. All right. I'd like to get, like, ten of them before we make duke attempts. Because I don't want to fail an attempt, learn something, and then be rusty by the time we start again. Oh. There's another one. I missed it. God damn it. This is actually a great spot because the giant fungi bulbs just can't attack. I've never seen such a thick, uh, thick block of mud in this biome. With these spots down here for these things to spawn and be useless. I don't think these glowing snails are worth the trouble, are they? 15% bait power. No. Go in peace. Ow. Oh, we also get anglerfish here. I wonder if they can drop depth meters. There's a truffle worm. That's three. If it is impossible to get wings, they would have to specifically change the loot table of fish run. And there probably wouldn't be wyverns, or they just wouldn't drop souls of flight. go just far enough off screen that the worms might spawn. Not gonna have any shortage of glowing mushrooms. Not that we ever have, except for when we can't find the biome, and we're at the start of the game craving shine potions.
as a truffle. Fantastic. Maybe we'll stop at five. Oh. Well, that is five, I think. Yeah. If we do five attempts in a row and don't get it once, then we should probably try something else. Um, the thing I'm really scared of isn't exactly Duke. It's the... Well, it's a... If I go over here and we hear different music, does it not count as the ocean biome and will he get upset with us? Uh, and be the ceiling. I don't have a depth meter, so I can't use the numbers to know how high I am. And there's absolutely no points of reference in the sky to avoid going up into space and just instantly dying. Uh, because the way we fight Duke Fish Run early is by using grav potions so that we can fall away from him uh, very fast and control our distance and spacing. I mean, that's a good way to fight him in general, but especially if we're fighting him early. Maybe I should just farm for a depth meter. Like, I haven't seen anything that tells me it's just arbitrarily impossible to get it in this save. I think I've just been really unlucky. Um, I believe it is Piranhas? that can drop the depth meters, and we might actually have a statue to spawn those. Doesn't actually zoom in on the inventory. Um, maybe I never did get the Rana statue. Should we check it? Uh, if you if you want to, I, I wouldn't mind. I could check it myself, but it'll like pause the game. Uh, I just want to see real quick. Oh, toxic sludges can fall on our heads. That's nice. Uh, we have this little spawner house up here from before. That's just goblins and blood zombies, actually. I could go for, uh, well, no, I would need the free hard, uh, the hard mode armor, the metal. I kind of want to, if possible, kill Duke Fish Run before getting, before breaking a single demon altar. That'd be kind of neat. Not that I haven't uh, beaten him with gear that wouldn't require a demon altar. Um, that's in general for depth meter. Also from salamanders, giant shellies, and crawdads. Um, where should I look for them? Probably right here, actually. Close to where we just were. 
which means I have to travel again. I think this would be easier. Let me out. I really wish you could get the, uh, that you didn't need a soul of sight to make the sensor that detects the player. Because I'd really like to make automatic uh, actuator builds, like pre-hard mode, preferably. This is maybe a little premature on the food, but whatever, on the buffs. I guess I could use a plain old trapdoor. I forgot those exist. They're only two by though. Do do do. Oh, that was brutal. Also, was that a chest? Nope, that was a life crystal. Okay, up we go. This time with the confidence in our DPS. Ancient cloth. Oh, I think this is just cosmetic. Oops. Up we go. It's not actually that hard to get here. our truffle farm. Vanity Pharaoh suit material, indeed. Ow. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh, no. Oh. That could have been bad. Alright. Up we go. And... Diggy diggy hole. I have a love and hate relationship with the mushroom biome. Yeah, early hard mode mushroom biome is a little bit nasty. The, uh, I forget the name of them already, those things that shoot through walls and have, like, pedal mushroom things that go above your head and then fall left, right, left, right, down towards you. Uh, those are really, really nasty. Alright, so that's like here. That's where we're going to find our depth meter, right? We hope. It's been a while since I heard this music. Do 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 do. I hear a mimic. Half the underground fishing spots in my previous save were near it, so every single time a clinger would show up and spit it. Oh no. Oh, that was a mimic that didn't disappear after all. I think I'll play this safe. Yeah, I just wish... I, I love what the way they changed uh, how Magic Missile works with the auto attack. I just wish they added just enough of a delay so that you didn't instantly waste a shot when you're doing this. Another dual hook. Oh. 
wasn't what I was expecting. But this is where we can find our bats anyway. DPS and control, though. These things? They can give us the depth meter? I'm trying to go as fast as I can to get the mouse back here when it's auto-sending the next... Uh, flame lands, but I just can't physically can't do it fast enough to save a wasted shot. The bats. Do 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 do. You have a lot of armor. I don't approve of that. I guess I could, like, hit them with the first shot, bring the fireball away, and then fling the second shot at them. To try and control it like that. It's tricky. <laughs> There's also a couple of rare pickups from these skeletons that are good. Beam sword. Uh, that's less good than I thought it was. It's melee though, so it's completely free. Ow. Oh, there's our trifold map. We've already got the thing that combines with. Okay, nope, nope, bad. Stop it. Nice bonus, indeed. Might just end up with armor polish as well. Oh, hey, Skelly. Wait. Oh, I already fixed this. We're good. This is a dead man's chest. Guide to plant fiber cordage. Spelunker glow sticks, format C. I'm not interested in. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. I think. Is he gonna teleport again? Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Rickon Rune Wizard Assassins. All right, batty bat. Let's go. Nope. He could scarcely have picked a better time to try and catch me. And now nothing spawns. Is it because Skelly is here? I think he's already gone though. No, he's not. Yeah, I think this like counts as a NPC village or something for a moment. You start seeing rabbits spawn. Never mind. Let's just head over this way. Enough for things to reset. Oh!
These bats are not uncommon, but the drop that we're looking for is... But in a normal playthrough, you can expect to stumble onto it uh, with relative certainty. But this one, this map just doesn't follow the normal progression. I kind of like these soft blue lights. It's not going to hurt my luck if this is technically the wrong biome torch, is it? Rock Golem has a lot of hit points. And I don't think I can suppress him, keep him from attacking. It's lucky that he's stuck up there. Okay, okay. Never mind. False alarm. down for that. Ow. He doesn't hit that hard. At least. And all we get is, <laughs> all we get for our trouble is stone blocks. One percent for these, but never when you're looking for it. Yeah. It's just in the natural course of events having to kill bats all the time. But, uh, because we've spent so little time in this kind of biome. We just still don't have our depth meter. This rate, I don't think I'll be attempting fish run uh, tonight. It'll give me some time to get some practice in on the uh, journey map, I guess. Before trying to fight him with the... Uh, with the invisible darkness sky of doom. And also, like, I I'm not going to practice, like, on this seed. We're going to leave some surprises. It's just going to be mechanical practice. It's weird outside. We have, a uh, penumbral solar eclipse and no birds are singing. Everything is quiet. Indeed. All the birds are down here. I think the idea of this seed is like... This, this is... This is one of the seed... This is one of the worlds where the corruption just took over completely. And everything else is literally forced underground. I really am liking these soft blue lights. Cave decor plus one, indeed. This has got to be just about... No, not just about. This has got to be by far the best DPS you could get at this stage of the game, right? Plus 15%... No, sorry, plus 21% magic damage. 
you don't get anything comparative, uh, comparable to that from, like, hard mode metals. Um, although you get other benefits. I think, uh... No, I, I got confused. I was thinking of Sky Fracture. Magic Missile is the component for Sky Fracture. Maybe I should get a... Oh no. That's... That's not what I wanted to happen. Well, it's not like we don't have uh, Terra Spark Boots. But that's kind of a lot of lava. Can we get it to come down this way, perhaps? Oh, I can't get down there. Let me up. I forgot how vigorously the creatures don't care about lava in this save as well. Let me out. Let me out. There we go. It's still a lot of lava to come down. It's gonna make a mess of this whole place. Could we perhaps get down through here? Let me up, let me up. There we go. And then... Ow. Okay, that hurt more than I thought it would. What else could I do? With like 10 minutes though. Oh, let's get some more diamonds. We can make some self-illuminated tiles with diamonds, although they are actually obnoxiously bright. Oh, we got another truffle worm as well. Fantastic. What time is it? 11... Uh, 1.38 p.m. Maybe it's just the depth. No, it's supposed... It's, it's normally the jungle surface. Where... Where this guy will sell us wings. And this would be the jungle surface in this, uh, in this save, right? I don't really want to try moving him up here. I don't think it's going to work. Hmm. -mm. I wish they included some kind of item to make you immune to the instant space death. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even worried about wings, to be honest. We're going to use grab potions. Uh, also, if I didn't say so, sorry, Math Matthew is. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pardon me while the game pauses. Uh, I wish I could click off of Terraria without it doing that. But yeah, I think uh, what I will do 
off screen is farm for a damn depth meter. Maybe set up some more teleporters. Um, I'll probably not go for the ceiling thing. Partly because it's really, really, really hard. <laughs> if I'd done it in pre-hard mode, maybe. Um, but also, one could argue it's an arena if I if I build across the top of the sky like that, just to prevent instant death by hitting the top. Um, and I think I will go for the early fish run because I like the early fish run. It feels really nice overcoming a really tough challenge and then being overpowered. Uh, I should probably build some proper houses. Oh, was that? Nope, those are slimes. I should probably build some proper houses and, like, uh, cut out the ground around them so that they can't end up being corrupted. If you get the summon or water disc book, yeah, yeah, yeah. Razorblade Typhoon is not just powerful, but, like, the easiest spell to use. And all you need for the longest time. Hard carries? Absolutely. And the bow, the DPS on the bow is incredible. It, it takes a very long time to grow out of fish run gear. And it is possible with media armor, crystal storm. Uh, I would very strongly recommend. No, it's required. Shield of Cthulhu. Uh, and basically glass cannon after that. I mean, not after that, you're already go going glass cannon. But in the final phase, uh, using the shield to deflect like his last dash is actually incredibly effective. And you basically just do kind of giant circles trying to manage where he's going to end up putting his tornadoes and stuff like that. Took them to Moonlord, indeed. Uh, I kind of like the Ranger gear better against Moonlord. But... Oh, actually... No, I like the Moonlord Ranger gear the best, but um, that's obviously, like, post-game. It, it almost doesn't count. Like, there's, there's, there's sort of nothing to use it on if you have to beat the last boss to get it, right? Yeah, like, post Moon Lord items are toys, essentially. <laughs> More so than anything else in the video game. Okay, uh, where did I put my... probably in the void bag. Yeah, we've got six truffle worms, that's pretty good. If we can't beat him in six tries back to back, well, on the other hand, even if we win, we want to kill him a bunch of times to make sure we get the drops we're after. Um, so I, I might farm up a few more of those as well. Do some builds, farm some stuff, make some teleports. And definitely kill the Wall of Flesh a few more times. Um, I don't particularly want to stream the riveting process of waiting for voodoo demons as much. Same thing goes for fishing and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's part of the game, but still. Um, I think fighting any kind of boss that I have to fight on the surface is going to be interesting. It's probably just going to be the same problem every time. Like, as far as I've seen, the bosses themselves aren't any different. It's just that the surface is hell, and the sky is death, and we can't see where we are, and we can't see the harpies. Unless we have a hunter potion. 
And even then, I don't remember if the Hunter Potion reveals the feathers that they're shooting at you. I think it does. Oh yeah, I wanted to try... I, I doubt it would work, but I wanted to try the exploit of using a teleporter to get through this door. Uh, if we're just able to place a teleporter here, which I think we could, then we could probably get through it that way. I, I wonder if they built an anti-exploit in for that. But we have to actually get over there first. I should have tried it before hard mode. Because the surface is... Super dangerous. Might require danger sense. That's a good point. Alright, let I love the quick stack animation. You actually know where things went. Alright, let's find someone to raid. See if see who's playing the Terraria these days. And what they're up to. Blind Expert Hardcore? Two bosses dead. That's kind of cool. Wait, Expert Hardcore? Oh, they don't mean hard mode. They mean two bosses, period. That's not as interesting. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, anyway. I mean, good luck to them. I also don't always want to raid the biggest channel. Uh, there are a lot of people playing Terraria, uh, streaming Terraria these days, wow. It used to be like, I don't know, five, whenever I went to raid someone. Hold up. Thank you for the follow, uh, Matthews. And... And thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. I actually can't decide. I have analysis paralysis. Uh, Zenith Master Mode? Let's go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, in a couple of days, we'll be back to Oxygen Not Included. I may start streaming that one day a week for now, because... I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to get burned out on it. Uh, and a couple of days after that, we'll be back to Space Exploration and Crestorio 2. But for now, uh, let's head over to Shizzle, I guess. Wait, I should have checked. You all are able to chat there. Because sometimes that's a thing. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Alright, take care, guys. Blood Moon Fishing Hut 2? Blood Moon Fishing Hut? Wow. Is there, do you get something special for hunt, uh, fishing in the Blood Moon?